Microphone check one two. What is this? What episode is this, Savant? Three forty six. God damn, these shits move slow. Uh, welcome to episode three forty six of the Joe Budden podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden. Here with a few of my nearest and dearest. We are back together again. Hey, in the same room. Hey, no, right. you that was a good song. I'm excited about that. I can see. Yeah, you can me tell. too. I did. Took a Blush. forty minute shower, huh? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Threw something on. Looked uh, around in the closet. What I'm gonna give him? Had to impress yeah. us, huh? Comfy but casual. I mean, that's, that's the only way to do it. <laughs> Gave the us way poke out the it. polka dots, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fellas are going to dig the polka dots. Yeah, I mean, that's how I was feeling. Yeah. Feels good out there. Maul is here. Parks is here. Rory is here. here. Erickson is here. Savon is here. Alex the Great is here. Brandon is here. I think Rim is here. How is everyone doing? Come on. Come on. Fucking great. Don't be was, bashful. Uh, Don't be bashful. Bashful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing bashfully. It was overwhelming to be in the city today. Was it? My first time in two months. Wow. Saw 34th Street, didn't even recognize it. I ain't even peeped the velvet dad had Rory gave him today. a little suede, you know. Huh? Mm-hmm. With a hint of pink. I mean, you know, just you know, a little, little, little matching match. Oh, you know, I had to give it to the... him. I had to give oh. it to him. <laughs> just, just nobody touch me and everybody leave me alone. That's Yo! Yo, I just I beeped how corny <laughs> this nigga just don't, is. Just don't touch me. That's all I'm asking. Fam. Rory, what are you doing, you man? Matched the yellow, you matched the yellow Yo, with your strings. Yo, come on. Yo, don't touch my nipple again, head. nigga. I'll <laughs> knock you out. Yo, yo, look at what Rory did. Look at the yellow accent you gave no, us, even on the brim Rory. of your hat. Like, you can't talk <laughs> to me right now. I see where you went. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who, me? I see where you went. Me? Yeah, I see where you went. Oh, you turned on me quick. Nah, but I see where I saw Rory when he walked in. I mean, you can't miss it. the logo on the back. Look at the logo on the back. can't miss it. You already know. Come what on, this. man. Come on. Come it's on. me. Oh, come on. Man. Come on man. I don't know what that is, but it's flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but, but flavor. That's, that's flavor nah, right you there. You didn't even peep the calves. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> see? It got a purple, got a purple go all the way down. <laughs> oh, look how the stripe goes down his leg. <laughs> <laughs> Who running the calf game like me, though? <laughs> Yo, Rory is such a hipster, man. Yo, this is awesome. Yo, I so I post a I post a quick Insta vid, Insta snap of black seed oil because my mom came and brought me some black seed oil. A necessity. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. What's that for? Especially for you because you smoke. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to not smoke, yeah. but people kept telling me how horrible the black seed oil tasted. <laughs> it's a, it's, mean, it's not man, a great taste. Listen, it's a bad if you, if you have had Buckley's, man, it's along those lines. Yeah. Better. It has yeah. like a, uh, just the aftertaste. I'm not. Of a, I'm not a huge uh, fan of ridding your body of toxins. Mm, I yeah. put it in a smoothie and I couldn't finish it. <laughs> yeah. I no, like no. that shit. I've been going to that shit like <laughs> a, a, more shots. than I'm supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> How you OD on the black seed? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so I posted a picture of the black seed. Here come Rory in my DMs. Aren't you a hipster? Wait. No, I just wait. said you are one. Rory called me a hipster for anything, for and he got a whole purple true. stripe down his leg. Don't ever say nothing to me again. No, you look good, Prince, though. That's the Thanks, man. Where you look good. You do. I thought it was a cool Adidas tracksuit. You do. Uh, all right, we checked on Park. Savon, you good. Erickson, you good, of course. All right, so everybody's good. Yeah. Uh, Scr- Scream Man? Scream Man's good. All right. Let's get right to it, then. Let's do it. Luda, Nelly, The Clash. <laughs> the Clash. Clash. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I'm here today. I'm here today. What you want me to do? Uh... There's not much that I can add to this, I'll be honest, because I missed a good chunk of this. Okay. I went back and reviewed the tape because I couldn't watch it with the sound that bad. <laughs> I uh, I waited it out. I mean, I didn't have much else to do. Yeah. Um, but it was not ideal in the beginning, for sure. It was tough to get through. I happened to know the songs, which most people did, which made it like, all right, I see what he's playing. Right. We just can't hear it. Yeah. Um, but I was torn apart piece by piece by the timeline. Wow. I uh, I had Nelly up 5-1 in the first six rounds, which I was told I should never speak about music again. You know what? And then Luda, I went Luda back won. and reviewed... Luda won. Let me get that. Oh, I had, him, I had him win 13-7 to seven if my math is bad. I had one tie. But there's... It's a, it's a stark difference because I feel like 
Mm. If you like partying Stark. with if you like partying with women or if you're with women, they are picking the Nelly records. That's not true. A lot of times they were. I saw the chicks going right for Luda. Yeah. I didn't know Luda had the sauce like that. <laughs> it was one sided on, on all the comments I saw. Um when did when did you guys tune in? I tuned in probably after the first four four joints. And then it was kinda like I think Nelly's Wi Fi kept going in and out. His shit was terrible. So then I stopped watching, but then I looked. I, I went back and just read the uh, the track list. Luda won. Yeah, Luda won. He certainly did. I don't think anyone's here to debate who won, but I, but I, some um, of the rounds of it being a twenty and O. Oh no, I'm, I'm forget about it, man. Don't even let me answer that question you asked me. <laughs> Are you going to talk? It's a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Well, man? I'm playing the victim. <laughs> <laughs> don't give me right, don't right, give okay. me a chance right, to my bad. here, my, man. Right. Wait, am I victim shaming? <laughs> It seems it sounds like that way to me, Roy. <laughs> My fault. Um, Go ahead, victim. Damn, what was I about to say? Oh, uh, I tuned in from the start. I tuned in when mm-hmm. they were each on their own separate lives waiting for each other. That's always fun. Yeah, that's fun. That's <laughs> it's, like, it's awkward, that's too. Part of yeah, it's, it's, it's super weird. Tell awkward. Them to, tell them to you come get to, to my like... page. <laughs> Tell them to come to my page. And the way it goes for me, I always go to one person's live and they have like 100,000 waiting. I'm like, oh, they about to kill. And then I go to the other person's live and it'd be like 300,000. I'm like, oh, shit. No, <laughs> it's about to ne- be a ne- tough ne- night for you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Nelly was giving us the new Drake album. I was like, what is going on in here? Um, And then they started. Then Nelly's Wi-Fi was horrendous. <laughs> Boy, did I enjoy the chat at that moment. <laughs> Uh, it was really, really, really bad. They say the weather was bad out there, but so I left it when they started talking about maybe having to reschedule it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Hold then on. 45... Well, let's, not, let's not skip over that. The weather does not affect the Wi-Fi. I, my Wi-Fi was working during Sandy. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but you got white privilege. <laughs> okay. Well, he has money privilege because he has a lot of money that Wi-Fi should work in his home. Yeah. Touche. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yo, but I empathize. because I empathize because when your Wi-Fi is messed up... Like, once we unplug the thing and plug it back in, if that don't effectively change things, then there's 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 nothing we can do. Calling Verizon. And we kind of still don't know how bad it is. No. It's not like something that that normal people can look at and just fix. You just got to get get jokes. Nelly had no idea because he was dancing through through all the lag. Oh, my God, it was horrible. (laughs) So I left, and then 45 minutes later, I see that they're still on. Like, oh, shit, they, they did it. Mm. And then I tuned back in, but at that point, it wasn't good. It wasn't good for uh, my guy Nelly. <laughs> yeah. When I got back. And Luda's whole "I used to be a radio personality" definitely oh, he was fl- flourished better. during this entire yeah. thing. He was better prepared. He was a better host. <laughs> and through all the bullshit with Nelly's Wi-Fi, he was able to kind of radio personality us for for some time. I didn't really need the new Luda. Uh, you hating? I, I didn't need it, but you know, starting with the, with the Cosby. Why your generation be hating on Luda, man? Quite the opposite. That's my generation. We love Luda and Nelly. Well, why you hating on Luda now? <laughs> <laughs> Make it more personal. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. Maybe just, maybe you're right. I didn't need the new Luda when he played it. I didn't need it twice. <laughs> I don't think the verses is ever a good place. For, I didn't need. Uh, I didn't need music. it to to be ran back. Just I in agree. case I didn't yeah. hear it. No one wants to Versus hear that. is not the place for or live shows. Your new music. Like hearing it at the live show, it's kind of the same idea. Yeah, I, uh, no one knows the words, to, Yeah, we don't know the words. We're here to honor you, but we don't fuck with you today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of this whole music thing. Don't, don't give us some new shit. Yeah. We'll honor your old shit. We love that. And that's the thing, too. Listen, I am done trying to predict a winner here. Only the fans won. Like, <laughs> I'm done ever trying to predict a winner to Versus. Because what I learned, boy, did this Nelly and Luda shit teach me a, teach me a good lesson. It what taught it me a good you? lesson, man. What did it teach you? And much like just trying to become a rapper and c- a competitive one at that, the, this versus shit has a lot to do with a lot of other variables outside of your catalog. For sure. Yeah. And this battle highlighted that for me. And what I mean by that is, yeah, and, it, and when I started watching, my focus totally got off of the music. It didn't matter. <laughs> Anybody who participates in this your catalog is upper echelon. Yeah. Oh, without like, question. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, mean, I feel like the same thing, Um, what was you just saying? Shannon Fry shouldn't talk about Jordan. I feel like mo- that's anybody that participates in this, a lot of us shouldn't really say nothing about them. <laughs> well, no, it's, but it's you can still. It's because it's a battle. 
Yeah. Like, you know, they call it a celebration mall. Well, celebration. Uh, <laughs> Do they? I think it's a. Yeah, that, that's how they mask. It's, kind of it's called versus. It's what are you talking? <laughs> about? Versus like of a, a celebration. Of yeah, but it takes on the personality of the people involved. Yeah. No. Uh, the Except only time I didn't see it be a battle was Erica and Jill. Like they've all felt like battles to me. Whether they're being competitive and loving each other or not, it still felt like a battle. Maybe it's with hip hop more. This is just a big braggadocious fest. Oh, like, for nigga, sure. You know Which my is cool. Yeah. You, know, you know what I do. <laughs> when Ludacris was an active MC. Mm-hmm. He still is, right? He played new records. Yeah. With Chance. But he hasn't been actively yeah. no, putting out albums in a long time. Okay. I don't, I'm not saying this as a slight plea. No, no, I get it. Um, but when Luda was... He's, he's only one of the biggest in, franchise movies in, of all in, time. In his heyday. Mm-hmm. Um... Luda, Luda was one of those. I won't say he was Busta Rhymes esque. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, he uh, animated. He, yeah. he was funny. His videos were the videos, were always great. He made characters. He did shit with his voice. He had party anthems. He, also, he was, uh, to the to Busta thing, he actually really raps in all his singles. Yeah, yeah. Like he's not just doing the single thing. He's really rapping. Facts. So as an MC. You know, I always see Luda that way because that's who he was to me mm-hmm. outside of his amazing abilities. Mm-hmm. Um, and Nelly, in his rapper image, has always appeared cooler mm-hmm. to me. Okay. As a rapper. The Band-Aid, the tank top, the jersey halfway off. That did it for you? The bop and the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all all of it was cool. It was a it was a mix of, I told you, that shit was real popping in New York. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So it was just a good mixture to see that vibe in New York. It was cooler. It wasn't so over the top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. It was just about engaging women. <laughs> yeah. Right. All of it. And that's just how I've always pictured it. Mm-hmm. Outside of Nelly, maybe uh, crossing over more. Mm-hmm. They probably both cross over, but mm-hmm. Nelly probably crossed over more in different ways. Yeah, yeah, and kind so of this, got so this Luda that, to having to do that. The Luda that was up there in that battle was much cooler. <laughs> that yeah. was a whole different. That was today Luda. That's movie star. 15, 20 million a movie star, Luda. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, I used to do radio. I know how to do this too. You know how Jamie Foxx sometimes give you an interview and just show you he could do everything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was this Luda on display with multi-millionaire skin. Oh my God, that always does it for me when they when the multi-millionaires have skin <laughs> that we can't get. <laughs> that that we lotion, can't get we just, the lotion pause. we don't even know about? Okay. Pause, yeah, pause, I was pause. waiting for that, that's all. Well, I'm saying, somebody's skin is reflective of, of how life is going. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I know. I think it's fair that you gave up how you loved Nelly's image and now Luda's image, and you're just being loving how, how these two men look. You're being fair. I get it. <laughs> and I appreciate Yo, you giving that balance. That's it. Listen, it's I, know, I know that has nothing to do <laughs> with nothing, thing. but for me, this battle highlighted how important that is. Nelly was tipsy a little I, bit. I was going to say, I think he was yeah. drinking a little bit. Nelly was tipsy a little bit. Luda was all the way focused. That fucking Gucci link, that, like, he just he let you know a lot. Minimally, mm-hmm. the Atlanta influences everything mm-hmm. from that to the the throwback Hawks jersey. Like it's the other stuff, yeah. the mm. perfectly picked afro. You can't find a hair out of place. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot find a hair out of place. So those are the things that I mean. Look at Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, Nelly's having a good time. Nelly is my guy. <laughs> and listen. Listen, trying to bag the girl in the same studio that Nelly is in is a task. I would imagine, yeah. It is a task. I would imagine but that. But in this setting right here, yeah, because Nelly is super cool. Shout out to Nelly. That's my guy. But in this framing, it just, for me, it was, oh, fuck. <laughs> it was, I it can't. Was I'm not just watching a, this. It was a tornado of this. bullshit with him drinking a little too much, the Wi-Fi not working, the sound. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. so now, like, that dance might hit. If I could properly hear uh, the record, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and now it's just where the one is. <laughs> <laughs> can't he the only one that can hear? Yeah, man. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, that's all it was. But yeah, it was um, but the fucked up part is, and this is this is what's fucked up. Nelly was on live the whole day with zero issues. Oh wow! 
I didn't see that. The whole day, he was prepping. He was in that same studio doing speaker checks, oh, wow. mic checks, playing out of different shit. Mm. He tested. So for that to go that bad, I felt bad because it was perfect all day. Oh, wow. so, yeah. Somebody photoshopped a picture of Chingy dressed as a Verizon guy cutting all the wires at Nelly's house. <laughs> <laughs> and I could he not was, stop laughing. He was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Chingy chilling mine in his business. Here y'all go. No, nah, but every once in a while he pop out with a little dyke video. With a what? <laughs> he be chilling with Bucking them? <laughs> Wait, that's not common knowledge. No, oh. I didn't know Shut that. Up. What do you mean? I had no idea. Chicky got caught mad times with like <laughs> transvestites and shit. Oh, I mean, if that's his preference. Yeah, I didn't okay. know that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. Preference. <laughs> it's, it's, it's important to know what people's That's preferences true. are. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Very that important. is good, Rory. Though yeah. <laughs> foot on the gas with that one. Yeah, it's control. Yeah, yeah. I get it. It's been a rough month. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> His preference. Yeah. 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 Pro choice. Yeah, pro choice. <laughs> His preference. The choice is hers. <laughs> but if you also love Jesus, that's cool too. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, this guy is awesome. Uh, what were we saying? Uh, what I noticed, kind of to your point of the other factors, I noticed mega singles don't usually age very well. Super mega singles that a lot of them are like play in Macy's yeah, there's two. for six years just don't hit well in these battles. That's because uh, it was such a moment, such like a what, big though? moment. Um, I think Ride With Me beat Saturday by far, but the consensus in the comments and on the timeline was not that. Uh, they like were, They were bugging. <laughs> I think they're bugging, but I could see, all right, that song Wait, was you played think out. Wait, you what beats what? Ride With Me by Nelly beats Saturday by Luda. It does. 100%. That was not the consensus. Maybe it was the sound, or maybe because that song was played out so much. I just think a lot of, like, the hook, Nelly the hook shits were just so, cheesy. they were well, such big records. Get, that get the hook was always cheesy, but that's what made it fun. But no, now it's like, now it's really cheesy, though. What? Nah, must be the money. Like, nobody ain't screaming. That shit was nah, hard. Shit Fuck hard. you. <laughs> it was corny, but it was hard. But like. 2020, back then, it was like, okay, it was dope. It was cheesy then, It was cheesy too. then, but, yeah. Okay, so if it was cheesy then. But it was it hard. Yeah. No, it was. A it's lot like, of cheesy shit be hard. The record. I love that Yeah, record. that's no, my record. I think yeah. it still won that round. That's my Don't shit. get it twisted. But. Listen, Saturday never was the, the ooh, ooh. No, nah, I was never, ooh, nah, ooh. That, yeah, no. that was one of his it's lowest Saturday. Yeah, that was never. I never no, I was wish, requesting I, that for, Rod from the Serato. Way better record to me. I, I, I'm with Rod with me on that one. Uh, yeah, I think. But you should better never get and opinions played. from the timeline. You should take your take your opinions <laughs> to the timeline. Like, yeah, I don't care what the timeline is. What the fuck do they know about music? <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. They also took Moneymaker over Ei. That's why once my mentions were full, I was like, oh, I see who I'm dealing with here. No, <laughs> never the case will Moneymaker be Ei. No, Luda wouldn't say that. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I win that one. But Moneymaker was a huge record, so I get it. It's a great record, but yeah. it's not beating EI. I agree. Luda looked great. <laughs> <laughs> you should call him sometime. <laughs> yeah, you guys kind of did the reverse career thing. You did the, the personality yeah. radio talk show shit and then was a rapper. You did rapper then radio. Luda don't get enough uh he don't get enough credit. He don't he's not spoken about enough, and he's probably not placed in his proper spot in anyone's top rapper list. That's a fact. I, I completely agree. I walked away from that saying that too. That's as well. That's always been a fact to me. His his pocket and flow is fucking impeccable. In, yeah. In, in diction pause. Like you can understand every single yeah, what word. You want, man. <laughs> Parks is correct though, because yeah. there's a lot of rappers that I think that plays a huge part of why Drake is so successful. Yeah. Um Hove too. You yeah, can clearly hear them. The one. No, no, of course not. Bring up the boy. Can't talk about the top. No, but that's a big factor in in hip hop when you can clearly understand every word they're saying. It, yeah. It's a bigger factor than people give it credit for. Mm -hmm. That you can understand what they're saying. Like completely clear, understand every no, single only word. The mumble rapper. Yeah. Would disagree with that. No, there's real like MCs that do the rap shit that it's tough to catch everything. Simply by how they're. Rapping, not because the metaphor name one was if you real. Head. Name one if you real. Name one if you real. Name one if uh, you real. Name one if you real. Name one if you real. Name one if you real. I think most. I think most would would be bigger in the public eye had he been easier to understand. We understand him because we listen to so much most deaf. We can pick up on that type of voice inflection. But to the first person listening to most, it may be hard to catch. Okay. So wait, you saying that most would be a bigger artist? 
If people can understand him? Yeah, to the masses, yeah. I think a lot of rappers. I don't think his content is... I think it's more so his content. I mean, Ke- Kendrick right now has similar content and is huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Kendrick also plays with a lot of different metaphors. And so so, so did most, most did a bunch of different voices, too. Yeah, but it's a, it's a little and, different. And melodies. And most definitely was a huge... He was he had, big. He had gold records and shit. Like, I'm using him as a comparison to the next level. No, I know. Yeah. I know. I, I'm just... That, that clear voice shit that is, is tough. Success. But Luda, Luda has that, too. Luda is one of those rappers that kind of covered... <laughs> You know we're doing a podcast. Hey, Simba. Hi, baby. Uh, we're doing a podcast. I want to see you, so hurry up. Uh, bye. Get out of here. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you know you don't have to answer your phone. <laughs> I just don't. There is the red button. Listen, just don't touch me, man. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> just do not touch me. <laughs> You are a sick nigga, man. What is wrong the, with you? The sickest. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, you a sick nigga, man. Because <laughs> that's not the way that it sounds, more. <laughs> yes, it is. No, that's it's, exactly the no, way. It's I don't know what type no, of call that was. No, it's, it's not. It's not. And I've you're wrong. Those calls. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong. Whatever. You are wrong. You a sick nigga, man. But what? You know what? You know what's fucked up? Like when you call somebody names that didn't say nothing. Like I didn't say nothing. I know. I know. But I could tell by what she was saying. You know. Well, Simba's sick. Yeah, I know. You sick too, though. <laughs> <laughs> you sick too. <laughs> that, Anywho's. <laughs> Anywho's. Yo, so most deaf. <laughs> <laughs> I was off that talk before she joking. called. <laughs> yeah, but most deaf and Kendrick. Like, yeah. y'all was about to go deep with it. I'm like, uh, most deaf and Kendrick, what? Yeah, no. Like, I don't even like that. I don't even like that sentence starting that way. Most uh, deaf we're, and talk, we're talking anything. about content and it being yeah. successful in the masses, and I think they had similar content. That's all that was. It wasn't comparing well, well, them to just so quote unquote underground as content that, you know, it wasn't, I don't think he. Produces he produced content for the masses. I don't think he no was every, I don't still think, has gold records. So. Oh no, because the underground is a is an audience for it without yeah. a doubt. But it's masses like global. Like I don't think so. that's a big deal back then. Yeah, we gotta get to the bottom of, of most and Talib man. Sick, <laughs> sick to his rib. <laughs> Call Talib. Get him on the horn. No, I think uh, aren't they doing show? Well, we're doing shows together. Yeah, they were as Black Star. Oh, yeah, they yeah. Were, yeah, they were about to, yeah they were about to do shows. I think. Yeah. I think there's supposed to be a. Uh, there's been a rumors of a Black Star album produced which, by Mad Lib, which I think they announced. Yeah, that would be dope. Oh yeah. wow! To hear yeah. that, I don't know what's up with it, but that's exciting. That's been on on the radar for a while. Okay. Well, uh, do you guys have any final <laughs> thoughts about Ludacris versus Nelly? Uh no, I just it was a great battle. It was, I, I, it was I closer than it. the timeline made it out to be. Much closer. Yeah, but. and it was fun just going. You know, again, like the best part of these verses to me is just reliving. The moments when those albums, those records actually dropped. Yeah. You can kind of remember the time, where you were at, what was going on. Yeah. So that's always fun. And then to see like where these artists are today, like where Luda is today. You know what I mean? Like box office movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Doing his thing. So it's, it's dope. To, it's dope to watch. It's definitely a testament to. Uh, <laughs> I want to hear Maul say box office movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the, the only one to do that. Funny. In, I know. Box office I know. You got to say that. You got to respect that. <laughs> that nigga could have been in a bunch of, you know, the bullshit movies that they just put out all the time. And he's like, what happened to that? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> was Tyrese in the comments? I didn't see him and I was really upset. Uh, I, I, I was waiting for the yo. I thought we did this as a family rant. <laughs> like yo, I, I could have been there and ver- we could have done Tyrese and, and Luda versus Nelly. I know that. Hey, Nelly put that diamond trophy up though. <laughs> yeah, or hey, that, that changes that, things that, a bit. Luda ain't even look at that. He ain't even look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, he looking. He looking behind the yeah. Ah, look at Luda. Yeah, he ain't even want to look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That diamond yeah. trophy looks a little, little different. different. It just makes the air yeah, we, we, yeah, we, we both got yeah. Grammys, yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. I have this check diamond this there. out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know that Fast and Furious franchise. Yeah, that that's, that, that's that might too. that might go with with diamond. Yeah, that's diamond too. Especially now, if he put out an album, they bundle up, bundle it with the uh, <laughs> <laughs> with the every Fast and the Furious ticket. Yeah, like anytime you go see Fast and Furious, you stream uh, Luda's album. I can see it. Like, I wait, can see what? it happening. Like, yeah. What? Technically. 
<laughs> bundle it. These <laughs> niggas are selling everything but music. <laughs> Still bundling an album with Hobbs versus Vin Diesel yeah. <laughs> it would be the funniest shit. I got three shit songs ever. on the soundtrack. You fucking right. That's how that go. Uh, it's only not fair because everybody this? can't play the bundle game. Like that's why it's not fair. Everybody can't. No, everybody, everybody can't, can't play the music game either. That bundle game is a game reserved for four percent. Five percent, maybe superstars. Yeah, no, yeah. it's, it's be, it'd be the bundles that you don't know what you're getting with it. Like if I buy a T-shirt and the CD because I want both of those as a fan, totally cool with that. It'd be like the blind bundles. Like I just streamed your album, and now because some other website you own can counter stream it, now you have five hundred thousand streams or two hundred thousand streams. Yeah, that's the bullshit to me. It's all nasty to me. Um, Who's next on this though On the verses uh, I don't know If they announced the next Nor- Yeah Nori had posted That he was with DMX When uh, Swizz called Said Eminem was with it so Eminem versus DMX mm-hmm. I read something about that I don't want to see that How y'all feel I don't want to see that No No I don't know if I do either But My first I wouldn't mind either of them In verses I just don't know If I want them two To go against each other My initial thought Was That Was Ill who the fuck wants to see that? Then my very next thought was, actually, this might make a little more sense than I thought. It kind of does. They came out at the same time. They it's both a good had, match. They both had kind of dark, uh, yep. introspective records. It's, it's a good matchup. Some of which were huge records. Okay, how does M... If we tailor it to M playing more of the stuff that would go better against X, sure. But is M going with his biggest records... Or the better battle, because that would change the opinion of well, that being in, a good matchup. In the corner of M is Royce, so and, I, and I, I, I doubt that Royce lets M play the real Slim Shady in a versus battle. I also don't think that M would. I mean, say what you want I, about M, but he's I, yeah, a hip hop. I, I kind of like, agree with Parks. Day. I don't think M would want to play that against X. <laughs> he won't play Slim Shady. I mean, maybe he will, maybe he won't. But I don't think One that his he's biggest gonna, records. Not high, not high. My name is. Oh, okay. No, the but real, the real Slim Shady is one of his biggest records. Yeah, and I'm saying sure. he won't play that or should not play that. I don't think M would play Love the Way You Lie. But Now, he <laughs> right. was playing it. I'm not mad at High My Name Is coming on. No, the more I thought okay. about it, have to play that. the more I thought about it, like, M, M, M is more than prepared to do this. He has the catalog to do it. When you think of 20 joints in your brain from him that sound like they go in that battle... That's a tough matchup for, for uh, X. It is. It's Eminem, of course. It's a tough matchup it's for tough, yeah. any but, rapper yeah. ever. Eminem. Yeah, but that's still X. That's yeah. definitely so. Still I X. don't know who wins that. I don't know who wins that at all. I, and I, and I don't know who's cooler. Sit. Both are cool. Because for cool. me, the person that is sunning the other person and the other person is and is acknowledging the sun. Yeah, that you minus some points for me. And I never <laughs> know that until the shit comes on. Yeah. 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 I hope they. Uh, figure out a way to do it though uh, meaning I, c- I don't want to watch any more Instagram shitty audio I'm going to say really at, if it's X and M we're going to need a team for both sides Please. two people that have no interest in the internet social media <laughs> what the people want yeah. they just want to mind their business and make music you need a, a whole tech team there <laughs> to help those to two out there's companies that do like web production shit that they should be hiring at this point like, well they, they were saying that uh, Swizz and Tim were sending out versus kits to okay. each of these people for the setup with all these instructions. Awesome. I mean, that's so, cool, but that's, it hasn't worked great across no. the board. Man, they need to find out whoever's setting up D Nice's shit because you can hear his audio crystal clear. But it's just one of them. It's one, that, yeah. That, that, that's the difference. It's cool okay. when you plug two in two right of the, the same phone. setups. <laughs> <laughs> no, like you when get you. get the D Nice setup and he get the D Nice setup. Times two. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I just no when, when, when you, you split it, yeah. it, it takes D-nice. up those shit. Yeah. Everybody no, but I get it. It, it, it pulls and it. <laughs> yeah. I get it. Instagram starts fucking shit up. Yeah. I also saw them floating around the idea of 112 versus Jagged Edge. Where do you gentlemen stand on that? Me and me and Daniel from Division did that. On IG, name the dropping, other day. name dropping. You see? Oh yeah, it's right there. See? Yeah, it's dropping. next to my calf. Drop it. It. No, next, it. next to my calf. Um, Roy's a name dropper though when he's out oh there in God. the streets. <laughs> look, Yo, look, the look, narratives look, you look. make up about me. <laughs> look, look, oh man. All right, in your mind, do y'all picture Roy dropping a few names out there when he's out at uh last lap? Fam, come just, on, just the cool ones though. Come on, Only cool like, what name yeah. am I dropping? Daniel from Jigga. 
I've never, I've never run a Jay Z in my life. In a conversation. I was just, I was just with Sean. Sean who? And that's such a generic name, Sean. Who's Sean? Jigga. Oh. Oh, if I th- you know, oh, I you, you know. I thought you knew. Like you can see Rory saying, "If you know, you know." No, it would be crazy to bring it up and be like, "Oh, I can't talk about it, fam." You brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking around, Rory. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, we did an impromptu Jagged Edge 112 before they announced the shit, and it was a really good battle. Like really good. I, I don't. Know. I don't know who won. <laughs> I like. I like Jagged Edge more. But 112 probably has more. With with records. features, 112 is is a tough. Yeah, yeah. They probably have more records. Yeah, 112 had bigger records. I think 112 wins. Yeah. <laughs> it was you know, a good I, battle. I, 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 I like Jagged Edge. We I like all love the voices Jagged of Jagged Edge. Edge more though. Like the voices. 112 is coming out of that with a victory. They have better records for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I just like Jagged Edge vocally more. That's all. Swiss said something when he was uh on the live with Timberland. He said something about uh. He was talking to his wife about Mariah Smoke, and then that's all he said. Mariah versus Alicia? Mariah versus what's, who? what's implied? Y'all shut up. <laughs> Mariah versus <laughs> that, who? Is that what's implied? Yes, but be nice. Mariah Carey versus Alicia Keys? Yes, but be nice. Is it was this gonna happen during Christmas no, time? No, 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 no. <laughs> all he said, all he said. She gotta drop yeah. the Christmas. Is this record. gonna be the We're December it. versus? It don't, it don't matter when that Christmas <laughs> yeah, shit come on. That shit coming. That's a dub. <laughs> Yo, if Mariah just played Christmas shit in July, that would be the funniest thing for her. <laughs> she would, got to though. That would be a very Mariah thing to do. It would. But in like the Santa get up that she does on <laughs> on Good Morning America every year. Yeah, I I love Alicia Keys and I wouldn't want to see her go against Mariah Carey. Anyone against Mariah is, is tough. tough. I saw people talking Mary Mariah. I don't know if that's a really good matchup, though, music wise. They kind of, they make different music. I, yeah. I, I, get, I get the Mary's idea. And another one that I I don't know if anyone's not, seeing Mary. I'll yeah. be honest with you. Mary's in the Mariah class for sure in this versus thing. Yeah, <laughs> in, I just don't in think it's a, musically. World. I don't think it's a good matchup, but. She got the record. People so. just got to leave Mary alone. That's a and, huge and fact. Leave Mariah alone. Yeah, there's a handful of people that Mary, Mariah, Drake, Cove. Y'all laughed at me, but they, they had a little list floating around uh, about Keisha Cole versus somebody. Ashanti. Ashanti. Ashanti yeah. Keisha Cole versus Ashanti. That would be, I, I looked at the, I uh, but the, I didn't know the fake why, list too. I, I, I got to be honest. I wasn't sure why y'all laughed at me when I said Keisha Cole. I wasn't joking. I, didn't, I, don't I don't even remember when chair. you brought it up, but I'm not when saying we, we didn't laugh. When, when they was, did. it was talking about John Legend versus somebody, I'm uh, like, Alicia I, Keys. I said I didn't like that. I'd rather see John Legend versus Keisha Cole. And oh yeah, Keisha I, Cole I think you probably joints. said it in a funny way. Oh okay. Keisha got records. Yeah, Who yeah. Who doesn't I know I Keisha want, has joints? I think a few people might not know. Uh, she got. Oh, she got big records. Her and Shanti makes sense though. I would like it. Shanti got some big ass records. Yeah, huge records. Uh, LL said he would battle Nas. <laughs> I'm just I'm giving you guys the news. Turn the page on that newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Should have went past that. that Y'all section. sleeping on LL's catalog? I'm just sleep. See, that's he did it again. I didn't say nothing, <laughs> and it's y'all. I just said I'm sleep. Who's y'all? You. But I didn't say nothing. Nobody's sleeping You're on LL. You cannot sleep on LL Cool J's catalog. Let's be. Serious. I don't think anyone's sleeping on LL, yeah. LL Cool J's Can't catalog. Sleep. He's been. Putting out music for what thirty years? Don't try to gauge my by my face parts. <laughs> Stop trying to look at my face. Look you in your eyes. Yeah, you trying to All see right, what well, my face is giving up. Who who wins in uh, Big LA vs Hero? I hated that. Hero. <laughs> I'm That's trying it. to think what would match up to that. I hate that. Big LA. Joe and I are the only two people on earth that love Hero. Head sprung over Hero. <laughs> only because I remember actually like in the, being in the club when Head Sprung came on. You, you got your Head Sprung. Got a good reaction. <laughs> I hated the record, but it got a great reaction. I think that might be Maul's bag. Head sprung? Yeah, getting head sprung, like getting open off a chick. That's true. <laughs> you get the fuck out. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about right there? You just swinging at anything that come across the plate. Maul's never even had a pregnancy no, scare. But he I, doesn't get sprung. No, that is a bag. The quick two week open. That that's a bag. Don't try to be dismissive to that. That is a bag. No. And don't act like you that's above bag. that bag. I think that's, that's not, your bag. Yeah, that's your bag for sure. Joe moves them in in the first two weeks. Uh, I'd be wondering what the hold up is. <laughs> so how you can look at you and your bag and say I'm in that same bag with you? That's not the same bag as that. That is. That is. The two no, weeks no. I'm bag? saying no. I'm saying the two week sprung bag is a mirage and then you boogie afterward. I stick and stay. 
Mm, I don't think so. So that's, that's not bag. the same bag. Bag. I, res- is... I respectfully disagree with that. Well, what is what is your bag? I'm not mad at that because we've been guessing at your bag for about five years <laughs> and haven't gotten. And whatever anything. it is, I'm sure no one out there will be able to relate or identify to it. <laughs> you got me twisted. There's a lot of people that relate to my bag. Niggas see me, they had no. I know, I know, I see it. All right, well, well, you, it's, it's, a, it's a very small, it's a very small group. It's an eclectic like. bunch. Yeah, it's a okay. very, very small. It's, group. it's underground. It's, it's very. You guys respectful. are the most deaf we're, of that bag. We're very respectful. <laughs> we're very respectful. We just move. Secret society. All y'all ever ask is trust. Not, not so much of a secret. We just move with an old school. Uh, we just don't. Because now you're acting funny if you don't talk about everything that you're doing with women. You know what I mean? Like when women, when guys ask me, "Yo, what's up with you and Shorty?" I'd be like, "Listen, that's her business too. I can't give out her business like oh, that." Oh wow! Mm-hmm. A lot of, yeah, no, a lot of, noble, a lot of noble men. Do that no, no, a lot of guys just put down now. Yeah, yeah. Like a lot of guys just put the business out there, but you, you didn't ask her if that was a. See, uh-huh. I move like that. No, now move. you standing tall. Yeah, I don't. I don't put her business out there like that. So, how do you know about your Eskimo brothers then? That's why I'm so surprised when y'all bring up names because I don't know. I don't be asking these dudes who they've been. With. I don't even ask women who they've been with. <laughs> so, you know, that's just me though. It's never been brought to you. No. <laughs> no. 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 All right. Would that be said? Yeah, more, nothing's ever been brought to him. <laughs> about who, about who guys are sleeping with? How are you immune to something being brought to you? <laughs> Yo, are you fucking... <laughs> yeah, guys don't talk to me about soprano, who they... Head soprano, head ass nigga? No, guys don't talk to me about who they sleep with. Mm. Why would you even bring that conversation to my phone? I don't care about who you sleep with. Okay, have you ever checked up on it? Because guys are weird. Yeah, but I don't, yeah, speak, are, to, I don't speak to a bunch weird. of weird niggas, though. <laughs> oh, y'all mystical. No, nah, I just don't speak to weird. I can tell who the weird niggas are. You speak are. to mystical? No, definitely uh, not. Okay. But you've never asked a dude about a chick. So you've never just... even been fooled by a fake cool nigga? Man, you're cooler than I thought. You just <laughs> said I could spot all the yeah, cool weird niggas. Like, yeah. damn, you never been tricked? Oh, I mean, I'm talking about when it comes to as far as dating women, like them type of weird niggas. Got it, got it. Got I mean, I, cause some some fake cool dudes, you be like, oh, I thought he was cool, and then you find out he's a clown. That happens all the time. But dudes don't just ask me, yo, what's up with you? That's not what we're Bring that conversation to a man. I don't even understand how men do that. Because well, maybe we saw we were rooting for you guys. Just wanted to check in. Rooting for, root for who? You and Shorty. No. Mm-mm. Don't root for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. This is a good time to talk about what I wanted to ask y'all last week. What? Um, I wanted to ask you gentlemen to tell me about a time where you were the next in line guy. I know what you're saying, but explain it more for yeah. It sounds the, like a train. for our listeners. <laughs> sounds like a trick. Would I ever try to trick you, buddy? No, I said a train. Oh, a... <laughs> <laughs> not to be confused with <laughs> physically being next in line, <laughs> <laughs> which which could still be a trick too. Very true. <laughs> Roy, you can't participate in that style of joke. That's fair. <laughs> Get out of here, man. You are correct. Clear out the pain. <laughs> you bringing the defender to me. Um, the next in line guy. The next in line guy. Meaning, uh, we've all heard the phrase that before a girl breaks up with you, she already knows the next dude that she's gonna be intimate with, or or court, or be romantic with. Right. It's uh, a fact. But we never hear from the guy perspective. Not all the time. Of, women think that we talk about every woman, every woman. So just not all the time. No. Frequently. Though. There is a community that feels like that, right? Yeah. They think we talk about every woman and it's no. It's yeah. Not. We don't and, agree with Whitney. Every woman's not the same. We're talking to yeah. uh, one community. We don't mean any offense. Man, fuck that. People in general kind of know who the next person they're going to sleep with is. <laughs> Listen, man, I just purchased a WNBA hoodie, man. I don't want no smoke with nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no smoke with nobody, You got the Seattle team joint? Well, whatever the shit Kobe wore. <laughs> Hipster, high beast, all, all of the above. I did it for Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't say I word. rep for Kobe. Me too. I stand in that. Me whatever. Too. I fight cool. niggas for that. I'm here. What? I'm with you. I'm with you on yeah, that. Yeah, I stand on that. Damn, how many guys is, is that the case with? That what? We're like you stand in your your support your, oh, your of, fandom? of that person. Like Cove is that for me. Cove Prince Hove. is that for me. For me, Hove is that for me. Hove is that. Mm-hmm. That's probably the end of the list. Pac is that for me. 
There's a few. That's probably in the list. It's probably in the list. Mike for me. Well, we know that. Well, <laughs> shocker. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan and Jackson. Tyson. B. Tyson too. Yeah. <laughs> Take a pick. All the mics. Mm-hmm. B. No. Don't do that. No. Not gonna fight for your man's queen. It's a new score. B like Beyonce. No. B like Michael B. Jordan. Oh, I said no. <laughs> That's what I thought he was talking about. Be no. like Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> yeah, no, nigga. It's a new, I mean, it's Scarface. It's a new Scarface. Yeah, the new Scarface. It's the new Scarface. What was we talking about? <laughs> well, no, we, this is what we're talking about now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Because <laughs> I hope that's not true, but okay. Is will that, you be going is, to the box office? Is that a troll? No. Is that a troll? Yes, that's know. a troll. That's not, that's not that's true, not true, dude. True. I'm at the age where I got to ask. Is that a troll? Yeah, exactly. Yes. I asked yeah. that when I first read that too. I was like, is this real? And he's like, no. Okay. Then I've seen some other report about <laughs> about LeBron about to produce some movie about a sports agent. Guess who it is? You guessed it's it. It's your boy. Adam Sandler. Yeah. He's a... Uh, How does this nigga keep getting work? <laughs> he's, a com- he's a comedian historian, too. I do yeah. not right. understand yeah. it. <laughs> Adam Sandler's Le- dope. LeBron is... He's just... Who he's a historian with all the agent? crafts. He's his own agent. LeBron. Yo, the fact that you... LeBron, LeBron, the LeBron fact, is his agent. Yo, he is horrible. The Where's fact Paul? that you think it's tough for Adam Sandler to get a role in a movie is yeah, fucking hilarious to me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think that's a shock that Adam white? Sandler... Jewish? I mean... Is he white? Yes, Adam Sandler is a white man. <laughs> I'm just saying he's, he's a Jew. He's a Jewish guy. Uh, y- y'all get so awkward when I start talking about somebody y'all like. <laughs> I'm not the biggest Adam yeah, Sandler like, fan. Go ahead, give it up. I give it up. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Go ahead. Go, go, no, go ahead and rap. I like Adam Sandler, though. I just don't, yeah. I'm just, it's just funny because you don't, you don't have a reason to you not about, fuck with Adam Sandler. You about to watch it? The sports yeah, agent weird, debacle? Weird, he's got weird hates. Yeah, like that's Adam Sandler? Super strange hates. But no, I have people that I don't really enjoy, and that's part of self-awareness for me. Okay. But it's why not don't hate. You enjoy? Why I understand don't you enjoy that there are, there's a whole bunch of people that really adore Adam Sandler. I don't like, know if I like a whole him, lot. But I don't. I don't. You do don't adore him. him. I don't hate you him. You adore either. niggas. You just killing Adam Sandler. Any you just gave us a Adam list of Sandler? men you do no, until death. Yo, no, it's a podcast. Kobe, 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 it, it is a podcast that we've been running for five years. So mm-hmm. by now, some of the audience knows some of the people that I just don't necessarily. I got. You know what? Here's a weird one for me. Uh, Will Ferrell. How do you not like Will Ferrell? <sighs> what? You don't like stepbrothers? You don't like Will Ferrell. You don't uh, like listen, Adam man. Sandler. You don't like Michael Jordan. You don't like you don't white like... comedy. You're a racist. Who's, who's <laughs> with you? But you Rory, tell me a black do. person can't be racist. <laughs> 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 yeah, whatever. That's just, we don't like Will Smith. Like Will Ferrell. Though. What do you ever do? Don't, don't, do, that. Don't, do, that. don't yeah. do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. You do don't that. like Will Smith. Cut you it just out. have to. Admit yeah, I hate one. when Maul comes up with my list for anything. Because Maul says I don't like do people like, that I really do like. Do you feel like, like, like Will Smith? No, no, no. I, Rory, do you feel like he likes Will Smith? Does no, anybody I brought feel that up like last episode. Like oh, Rory and Parks makes it fact. I don't <laughs> fucking nobody care. In the room feels they like give a like Will fuck Smith. about what Rory and Parks say. Contractually, yes. Yeah, that is, that is a fact. Nobody in the room feels like you like Will Smith. That's not Bob. But I do like Will Smith. No, you don't. In what? I didn't like his transition. <laughs> to be a movie icon? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was cool. I didn't like all the extra. Don't, don't make oh, me. Oh, no, nah, you, you wanted parents like. to understand part two. You didn't want them to you give us fresh prints. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you go on a, one of the greatest sitcoms ever? We needed those bars. Joe got a sick list. I like Vince Vaughn, Vince, Vince, Vin Diesel. So you like the Vins, not the Wills. <laughs> What's up with you? <laughs> Curly Ed Parks is a little sassy. <laughs> <laughs> it's don't, the, it's don't, the leave in condition. Don't add Vin <laughs> Diesel. <laughs> don't, don't add Vin Diesel to my list. You not feeling D's? <laughs> What's up with these niggas? No, nigga. Shout out to Vin v- Diesel. Vinny D's? Shout out to Vin Diesel, too, by the way. Um, what are we talking about? I like Michael Scott. Scott Burrell. I mean, that's Scott Burrell. <laughs> I'm about to say, you don't like, I'm about to say, you don't like Michael Jordan, but you like Scott Burrell. All right, fam. All right, you got it. You got, you got it. You got it. Yo, the next in line guy. The yeah. next in line guy. Yes. Scott. When, shut up, Rory. The next in line guy. When you were the guy that knew that you were next 
up to bat mm-hmm. when yes. it was your turn, like when Burrell. your time to <laughs> yes. shine, right. when, Sean Bradley. when that when your spider senses started tingling, J. R. Mm-hmm. and you knew that you could just sense that that guy's time was almost up. Right. Yeah. The Instagram pics started changing. Mm-hmm. He was a lot less frequent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you're about to get the vibe, best new artist award. Right. Mm. All of that. And I know what you mean. That's a that's a that's a good time though. That's a that's a fun time to uh to be like a, a guy. When you have the attention of a woman. When when she's you. expressing her problems with her current situation and flirting with you at the same time. Yeah, you are well aware that you are next in line yeah. for the crown. Yeah. <laughs> the crown. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be careful though, because that, that Because the go crown get heavy after two months. Yeah. <laughs> no. Now you see why Drew started like, oh, purposely fucking oh, up. Oh, he won. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, wait, he's laughing I'm at me. Oh, I'm there. stuck. Exactly. Got it. You gotta be got careful. It, gotta got be it. careful for what you wish for. That's now I that, see why he cheated. That's what, that's, it. that's what that snicker was about at the club that night. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nigga, see y'all out and just like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and, and Dap, oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's what you on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see. I'm happy for you guys. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. Uh, yeah, so I'd like to hear about that experience from you, you gentlemen. Well, like I said, it go, it can go either. I way. turn into that Nick. Explain. What do you mean? What that nigga mean? Yeah, well, me explain. What you mean? What, like what when, you when, I, when I sense it's my time, when I sense that it's my time up, yeah, you step up, you become a model oh citizen. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, Whoa, hold on. That... I give it up. I turn up the charm meter. Yeah, you I, have to. I, Careful, I, I, I turn it up. And at that, at that small, there's a small window where she start really laying it on you. How he's been screwing it up. Yeah, you're you're getting into I turn dirty, up dirty Mac yeah. territory. He did you're what? getting into dirty Mac territory. That's a fact. Wait. What? <laughs> you lying. Right, no, now we're dirty macking. <laughs> you we're lying. not in the territory. Shut anymore. up. We're dirty macking. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, that's foul. I don't believe. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Yo, why are you even with this dude? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all niggas is dirty. <laughs> that's dirty, Mackin? Yes. What? If I tell her that's to shut up. That's, that's literally the, the definition. That is the epitome. No. <laughs> that's the epitome of dirty, Nah, Mackin. not Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is a dirty dick. Yo, you're a dirty nigga, man. I know Joe be giving it a filthy. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> No, you deserve better. You definitely tell chicks they deserve better. Oh, you got to lay it on. Yeah. And, Joe like, said, and you stayed? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you got to lay it on and be like, so now what you going to do? Tavon, <laughs> <laughs> you a nasty nigga. This nigga yo, I see you yo, laughing yo, too yo, hard. This is foul. Yo, yo, this is the nasty yo, so shit. Now, so now what you going to do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dirty Mac ass. I don't man, think that's man. a dirty Joe, Mac. No, Joe. Is Joe is the next level dirty, dirty Macker. Mac. He'll dirty Mac on her. Like, don't you love yourself? Yes. Yeah, He'll that's take that's it a step further. Joe be like, you gotta love yourself more than you love him, though. You gotta put yourself. You're dirty Mac. I don't her. think that's a dirty Mac, man. man. That's, that's literally the definition. That goes think- against anything <laughs> I got going on on my side of the Mac. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't fight my Mac. Like nah, I'm my shit off. Nah, you wasn't treating her right. Fam, listen. <laughs> that's dirty Mackin. Attempted to Mac If I say shut place. up, that's dirty Mackin? Hell yeah. Cause you're making her feel like, damn, like it's it's that bad, right? No, it's uh, this isn't a debate. That's the definition of dirty <laughs> Mackin. You're talking about dude's behavior to try to get in with her. That's a fact. But I didn't say nothing about dude's behavior. You said Greg, you even said his name. <laughs> I said it to is y'all. It, is this being played in the battle? <laughs> it's got to be. In the battle. <laughs> the J.E.? This definitely on Joe's uh, voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> you turn, Joe, turn it down right here and say, you've reached Joe. What did you say? This, oh. was, this was your voicemail. Let me hear it. You've reached Joe. <laughs> you've reached. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you open up with your voicemail. You've reached I, Joe. No, I know I have. I dialed the number. <laughs> <laughs> you've reached Joe. I'm not in right now. This is your name. I number. definitely had a song in the background of my shit. Did. Hit him with a little B McKnight anytime. Yeah. And if <laughs> and if you still on your stuck on your ex, don't leave a message. <laughs> if you stuck on your ex. <laughs> That's Dirty Mac top five songs all ever right there. This, no, this is number one for me. Hey. For sure. Hey. Well, maybe 
mean not number one for How sure. But it's top five. About what you just don't get, <laughs> nigga. We didn't ask you what you get. Yo, he did what to you? <laughs> I can't Baby, even believe that. I just that. don't get it. Listen Damn. to this. Listen to this mutt. <laughs> I would never. Neo never explained himself for this. You can't open a song like that. Baby, I just don't get it. It's not for you to get. Leave and, my girlfriend alone. Where, where did baby come from, nigga? <laughs> Leave my well, girlfriend alone. But where did baby come from? Yeah. Like, you got to watch them niggas that let the baby fly loosely. Next in line. They use that shit. Next I, in line. I did that for a year. Baby, I just don't get it. And it's effective. It. It's effective. It is. When you let the terms of endearment fly early? Yeah, I fuck one of you niggas up. Don't try to just sneak out a baby randomly. Uh, or a lo- I don't like no. love. Like, when people no. overuse love. Mm. Not saying I love you, but calling her love. Bothers I did. That, I did that for a year too. How's your day, love? Yeah, like, come on, son. That's filthy. You don't love her. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely don't love her. <laughs> All right, I'll add another scenario, kind of attached to it. When you're next in line, well, y'all didn't tell me about y'all, but it's fine. Go ahead. Oh, I mean, <laughs> no, get your shit off. No, that's cool. <laughs> Greg kind of solidified it for us. <laughs> <laughs> you won. When you're next in line for, for the hoe and then she decides she doesn't want to be a hoe right when it's your turn. Mm. Like she wants to like, no, nah, I think I'm going to take a break and I think I'm maybe ready for a relationship now. Nah, Going back to school. Like, <laughs> now that's really like, me too. Like, that's what I was looking for. Me too. <laughs> I was looking for a relationship. <laughs> With the hoe? Yeah. You got to say anything to get the job done sometimes, man. <laughs> I have a whole different theory on this that I don't frequently share. On what? Dirty Magnum? No, on wife and the hoe. On wife and a hoe, let's hear it. That's not too bad. Wife and a hoe? You would knowingly you wife bu- a hoe? If you built for it. Yeah, like it's, you, a, it's a tough battle. <laughs> you would knowingly wife a hoe. Like, knowingly. I don't know well, if Well, define wanna, hoe. Do I want to expose myself? Of course you do. Rim. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you in, the, in there. We're, we're talking about the actual hoe, not the one that moved cities and you know nothing about her history. Oh, no, that, that don't... You until you happen to visit... Yeah, that da- don't, that don't you happen count. to visit Dallas and yeah. you're like, oh, you was shorty? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about that. I don't know, man. She just moved to New York. <laughs> I thought she was a great girl. She seemed really wholesome. <laughs> yeah, no, that don't count. You can't fight against that. The I'm talking about hoe. knowingly. Like, you know that she's a hoe. Like, you just know. <sighs> There's benefits in there. I mean, for conversational purposes. This is a safe space, uh, fellas. Park, I don't know if I've told y'all that. Parks run into the Mountain Dew rack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck it, man. If you think about it. You said what, Parks? I said said there's benefits in there. Okay. They're usually good at it. Hoes are very experienced. Man, benefits. (laughs) They're they're usually good at it. They know what they like. And not for nothing. (laughs) Look at more judging us. No. I'm I'm trying to find. I'm I'm, I'm looking for understanding. Hoes take care of men really well. Looking for understanding. Facts. Hoes take care of men. Okay. That's how they got Hoes are kind of domestic. That was a weird notion that they put out there that hoes don't know how to cook, do laundry, run a home. Like, hoes know how to do that. Yeah, that has nothing to do with being a hoe, yeah. No, they do. Listen, man, hoes got that laundry smelling like the freshest of bounty. <laughs> <laughs> so bring your food to work and shit. Oh, boy, I didn't know she was fucking chef boy our ma'am. <laughs> oh, boy, does yeah. she chef it up. She tossed that uh, pussy, but she chefs it up. She tossed it. <laughs> Ma, uh, hoes know all the promoters, tables anywhere you want to go. True. Okay. They probably have a, a flight connect. Best back now, rub. Now, now you're Be- in- best back rub in town. Mm. And blowjob. Best back rub in town. Oh, and the BJ. <laughs> the BJ. The blowy. <laughs> and that's why, Maul Funk, only because you my man, I'll expose my thinking with you. Okay. Let's do it. It is all the way possible to have your whole wife under the illusion that she's your whole wife and the rest of the world be oblivious and it not really be reality. It just be hers. <laughs> I'm crying at whole wife because I know what you're talking about. <laughs> so you could have your your girl. You okay. could be giving it up silky to your whole wife. Right. Yeah. And the world could be none the wiser. They would have no idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and you're yeah. comfortable in it. So, oh, my God. So we're fine. But is that, is that does that apply for today, though, with like social media and shit? Yeah. Because yeah. if you have a girlfriend yeah. and you're not posting her, or, like that's, a, that's another argument no. in the household. Doesn't have to be. Like, I've argued with girls that wasn't my girl. Hoes have wholesome. no interest in being on your Instagram. Not all. Uh, yeah, no. Nah. Not all. There's quite a few that do. Not going to put all the hoes in one whole box. But <laughs> not all. But there's level. you talking about a lot I'm of... I'm talking about the, the, the real the ones. Girls, yeah, you're talking about the season vets. Yeah, yeah come on. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about the, 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 the 21-year-old that, okay. that can't wait to be seen hand-in-hand hand with you. And we're not talking to the distinguished women out there. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> no. Well, I would never. No. 
Um, okay, I guess I can, I can see that. I'm, but it is I'm a problem though. Now. If you have a girlfriend, you have to at some point post on your social media somewhere, in some fashion. Like I'm not, I don't know anybody that has a girlfriend and has social media and they have never posted their girlfriend on social media. Aren't you a regular old Dr. Judy? What was Shorty's name that did the love <laughs> columns in the newspaper? <laughs> Judy, that's funny. <laughs> I what think was, it was Dr. Judy. Was it really? No, so. for real. You read that so. column? Huh? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> you scroll to that. That was that was Joe shit. Joe asked a nigga if he finished with a paper just to read the Doctor Judy section. <laughs> Yo, you finished with that, fam? I ain't read the horoscope. No, I'm reading the box score. No, I don't want that one. <laughs> he he wrote into the column too. Yo, Mo, you so happy to see me? Tell the people that you're happy to see me. I'm not happy to see. Tell you, Joe. the truth. I'm not happy to see you. But tell them you are. I'm happy to see you. Yeah, my man. <laughs> <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> All right, where would you gentlemen like to go now? A lot of podcasting going on. Hey, I rock the party that rocks the party. You was working on that. Come on, man. (laughs) That wasn't freestyle. Come on, what they want to (laughs) do. What they want to do, even the sound of my voice is a pod. Where we want to start? Well. The air horn. Made me feel like you you were ready to come with a topic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, though we're getting on uh, uh, podcast shit. I know. Which uh, we, we, there's, we there's a couple go, couple podcasting things. Well, here. we've got a GoDaddy update. Well, on both sides, we've got both sides. <laughs> GoDaddy <of> update. <laughs> no, it's not the place that makes websites. <laughs> oh yeah, call- <laughs> <laughs> GoDaddy. We've got a call her daddy update. Mm. Uh, I like this because we get both sides of the spectrum uh, being. Call her daddy as two uh, beginner beginner podcasters, and we have Joe Rogan, who is the shark of all sharks. He's the, the, the big yeah. white whale, He's, the big white whatever it is. The big shark one. Yeah, yeah. So we we have in, intel on them both. Uh, <laughs> intel? <laughs> no, we don't. It's to the public. <laughs> outtel. Yeah, it's outtel. We've got Next some time. out. It's gone out already. We've got outtel on them both. Uh, so Dave Portnoy. Barstool Boss has replied to all of the Call Me Daddy podcast rumors, rumblings, and allegations. On their stream. He did so on the Call Me Daddy stream. This was about a 30-minute rant uh, where he addressed everything from his POV. Mm -hmm. Uh, He did mention the Post article that first made note of some of these rumors and and some of the uh, unhappiness going around with the the two hosts, the two co-hosts, mm-hmm. um, and he went in depth the way that <clears throat> he normally does. That's the thing about Dave, man. To be the the boss of a company, but still have that like rant shit in you where you'll tell some shit. No, he's a he's one of those few CEO personalities yeah. that, that tend to create. Businesses like this one, yeah, he's and not we'll, he's not the behind the scenes guy. No, he's, he's their main personality and and their CEO. <laughs> and Dave is really, really, really bright and very smart. Guy. Erica is really, 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 really bright too. So I really respect what they do over there. Um, and I listened to this. I listened to this as soon as it dropped. Thirty minutes worth of drama. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the Cliff Note version would be. Uh, they started a podcast for maybe seventy grand a pop. It was a uh, three years, seventy k plus a bonuses. Three year deal plus bonuses. Six months in, uh, one of them went to the other one. Oh, six months in, he well, raised both of their salaries. I'm cutting you off only to say he reached out to Alex, uh, I believe her name was, and said, "Hey, I think you have something cool over here. Let's talk about building this." I think that's a, a very key point. <clears throat> <clears throat> in the entire thing, yeah, they had something. This, this wasn't. They, they didn't had, have. They didn't have a full podcast. She had put out uh, IG clips, I believe, okay. of something along the lines of this. They and, had something on Instagram that made yeah. Dave reach out. Yeah. Uh, and then offered them. They had what, like six to eight meetings or something like that. Offered them the three year deal, seventy k plus bonuses. Uh, in the first deal, they had a dispute on who would own the IP. There was some pushback. Uh, David said, "There's no." point in barstool building you guys up just for you guys to leave we need to own the ip uh intellectual property and they eventually budged on that and the three-year deal had barstool owning that that was their yeah. first mistake when Go i listened on. to that when i listened to that that was to me that was like okay that was their first mistake 
Like you can't you can't negotiate and then say, okay, you can have the IP call her daddy and then try to then backtrack and say, oh, no, but we own it. It's like, no, you don't. And he was very adamant, like, that's what they wanted. They right. wanted that name. They wanted the IP. What was confusing for me about that part was if you are adamant about owning the IP, then it means that you should understand the true value of it. So then mm-hmm. why would you waver for 70 grand a pop? That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's why, yeah. to me, anything after that was like, oh, y'all but, can't But they mad. did. Yeah, but they did. But and, I, I, it, I, I, and it worked. <laughs> I yeah. get Barstool it in, in saying that. Of course, you should fight for your IP, but in Barstool's defense, you're coming into a entire fan base that's been built for God knows how many years, and the moment we put something out, our fan base goes after it. So, yeah, I need to own this. And let me add that a lot of the companies are doing deals in which they look to own the property. That that that's mm-hmm. what's going on right now. So mm-hmm. none of that none of that sounded strange to me. Um, no, I didn't so think they, it was odd. So so they, fold, they folded, they rolled, mm-hmm. instant success. Six months in, six months in, they both get raises. Mm-hmm. Within the first year, one of the members goes to Dave and asks for an increase in pay, making her higher paid than her co-host. That was no, that was after the six months. Six months they went in to ask for a raise. Alex got the raise. Sophia got the raise, but Alex's was. More because, according to Dave, she does the editing, she does the producing, she does more, and he felt it was warranted. And he warranted spoke to her that, more. His relationship yeah, was with her. Yeah. She did the speaking for the group. Mm-hmm. So he, he felt in his POV that she deserved more money. So then we get to a year, and with bonuses off that 70K salary, Alex was making half a million dollars. Uh, Sophia was making $450,000. That's a nice salary. Yeah. Especially when you started... At 70. 70 to a bonus. Right. So clearly... This is That's drawing a nice up. jump in year one. Word. <laughs> to you say would have least. to you would have to imagine that by the end of that contract, Barstool be should nice. be in a position to do the right thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And Dave and, and Big Cat, those 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 are good guys. I don't think they're shady guys. I mean, no, I, don't, I mean outside looking. From what in, I know, yeah. I mean, being around them, they, they seem like pretty cool guys. So, and then he, even hearing him talk, he was like, "We just was trying to get something done that made sense for all of us." And he was like, you know, then it started getting difficult after they started to see the success of it. And you know how that is. Once people start to see the success and people start getting in somebody's ear, and that's when here come the bullshit. Well, Dave said he has no problem paying a program, uh, paying a program if they outperform their contract with success. Yeah, because well, it means they clearly if they too. went from 70 to right. half a million in in a year. Right. Clearly, they're paying them bonuses. The merch um, was flying off the racks. In the and beginning, yeah. this was a really profitable business. Yeah, and uh, uh, this is all Dave's point of view. The numbers were given out. Sophia, from my understanding, refutes all of this. So this is just reacting to his point of view from what we heard. Um, after a year, once they had made each almost half a million dollars, uh, they got an attorney, Alex and Sophia together. They wanted one million guaranteed salary each. Freelancers, not employees. 50% of all revenue, merch, alcohol, and ads. Ability to sell their own merch and sell their own ads. 100% of the IP is what they went to counter after a year. React. That so, sounds reasonable. That sounds like you would reasonably want that. Yeah. Uh, of course you would reasonably want that. In a realistic world, if you're Barstool, what are you doing with that offer? Countering it. Counter, yeah. Negotiations. So, so, yeah, so I'm negotiations ripping that work. up. What on earth <laughs> does Barstool have anything in this at all? That's why it's called negotiation. Right. I'm not mad at them for bringing that to them. Like, yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not mad at of them. Of course they're supposed that. to do that. Yeah. I'm, I'm playing Barstool side here. I love I'm everything. Just, I'm just trying to give. I love yeah. it. I love everything that they asked for. We negotiate. Yeah. That's great. But I'm saying, as the people that have you under a three year contract, what do you think they're saying to that? Uh, no, they're, not, they're definitely not going to agree to that. But I'm not mad at yeah, them. Yeah, but for it still that. lets you know what time I'm on. Right. right. For sure. Yeah. You don't have to agree with it. Yeah. We're still locked into a contract. Right, right. That's the one thing that Dave kept saying that I totally agree with. You're locked in a contract. Mm-hmm. Finish the contract, even though Music Joe never really abided by that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I agree with Dave there. Uh, so during this term, I might say fuck off. Maybe. Mm-hmm. But well, if I know that right. they're willing to stop recording and I'm losing a hundred grand or over a hundred grand in advertising money every episode they don't record, mm-hmm. 
my position may be different. And contrary to what some people might believe, I might have said this before in here, but during this pandemic, the creator's value is up, not down. Mm-hmm. It's not down. No, not at all. So, I mean, yeah, they stopped recording when their value was at their highest. I understand the move, and the move works perfectly if the two young ladies don't end up beefing with each other, which the article says later on that that's which what happened. Yeah, that's implied. Go ahead, Rory. Well, Bar- Kick it to him. <laughs> Barstool did come back. Um, Dave said they got a, he offered a raise. He didn't say the amount. He just said a raise. Um, they can have the IP at the end of their contract. Uh, which was in 18 months, but Bar still needs 90% of the alcohol. That's the only thing they wanted to keep in the contract. And then he went on further to cut their contract time in six months, which made them less than a year that they could have just left with owning every single thing they had. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's a nice deal, it sounds like. Yeah. That When I heard Dave say that, again, his point of view, that was the nicest thing I think a CEO has ever given to anyone ever. <laughs> Well, yeah, because he's at that point he was just saying like, I didn't. There was no way you could not sign that deal. Right. I gotta say, from where from where his position started to where it ended in the negotiation, it got it got to a point where it was like, okay, y'all just ba- y'all basically just trying to like take everything from him, right, and leave him with nothing. Yeah, but the fact that one of the young ladies and and Dave said that this played a huge role. Mm-hmm. Um, the fact that one of the one of the young ladies got a boyfriend. And the boyfriend was Peter Nelson, head of HBO Sports. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can imagine how those conversations go. Yeah. Yeah. And you can imagine some influence, some influence happening there. So for sure. And I can see that. But you could also there may be a lot of stuff that we don't know. Like maybe they maybe homeboy uh, Nelson had something worked out for them somewhere else. Like, so, I mean, he Dave kind of mentioned that again. He was suggesting this was just his opinion. It was not a fact at all. Uh-huh. That he had heard a rumor that someone had given Peter and HBO a copy of the some other contract that they've done with podcasts, and they were trying to find some gender uh, discrimination rules, like somehow to get out of it. Uh-huh. So while we're saying these counters and offers are nuts, they may have something on the table that's better. I would think and, so. And have a strategy to get out of that contract so it wouldn't even matter what you're offering me. Mm. Listen, you know Peter Nelson went to the girls and said, we can get this over here. Of course. Yeah. And they was like, word, let's do it. But there's this contract that we're in. I mean, that's what it sounds like. We don't know shit. It's not fact-based. I'm just, but that's, I'm just theorizing. Yeah, I, I, don't see I know I, I, know I get in trouble when I theorize about other podcasts out there, but I'm still at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't learned my lessons just yet. Um, um, well, yeah, the, the final final counter um, that, of course, did not get signed, if, if you heard about this story, 500 guaranteed for both of them each, uh, 7.5% of merch, lower the contract length to a year from 18 months. Alex and Sophia each get 100% of the IP, 50-50 between the two of them. Um, Barstool keeps 80% of the alcohol. I don't even know. They have a, like a liquor brand? I, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's... Okay. A, it must be lucrative if that's what Barstool continues to hold on to. Right. What do you guys think of that, what Rory just read? Um, again, I, I just think it's it comes down to the ladies saw what their podcast was worth. They saw the numbers that they could bring back. And obviously somebody got in their ear and was like, we have a potential bigger play on the table. Let's try to get out of this while we can or, or faster than three years. And I think what Dave was saying was like, why would you, so what am I supposed to be left with? Like that was his vision as a CEO. Like, so then I put you on my platform and it was successful and we, we upped your pay. And now I'm even negotiating to a point where I'm basically just have nothing. And you still not happy with that. It's like, so you're saying you just want to like, just walk away from this and like it never happened and go your separate ways. And, and that's just not the way you do business. So I think that, you know, he, he's, he sounds like he's being fair from his standpoint. He's actually taken a lot less than where he started. For and sure. They're, they're, they're still not happy. So it's kind of like, okay, so what is, what's really going on here? Why, why all of a sudden do y'all... And then he said that Alex was in and now Sophia, Sophia was, the was one not, that wasn't But in. then later he said Sophia came back after Alex agreed to the new contract right. and said, hey, I want that same deal. I'm down 50-50. And Dave said, nah. That, did, that deal's off the table. Which is, which is how Alex negotiations go very often. 25 now. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's what he said. So it's it's basically they're trying to they're trying to squeeze they're trying to squeeze Dave into a position to where it's like all right now I'm just like, what am I doing here you know what I mean here here's why I'm taking that last who do you counter. side with here's here's why I'm taking that last counter we're kind of up in the air with what's going on with Corona and when things are going to change so if I have a deal with HBO and my boyfriend and all that shit that's not going to move and that's any time we soon. don't know if this I'm we're all yeah you know that right. shit mm-hmm. um. It so could yeah. Move. <laughs> yeah, it could move. Soon. Deals are getting done still. Of course deals are getting done. But no, if the I, phones if, are ringing now. Yeah. <laughs> they if, are. If Probably I can more take never. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if I can take one year to just final cuz we're going to have to go to court either way. We don't know how long that's going to take because corona and everything. So I can't get out of my contract. That's what I was getting to, guys. Not that you can't make content now. The fact that a lawsuit has to happen for us to get out of this. I don't know when courts are open. Let me sign this. It's one it's one fucking year. I'll get half a million dollars and I'll own everything and leave Barstool and then go on to this deal that I'm already trying to negotiate behind the scenes. I'd take that in a heartbeat. Me. Yeah, personally. probably too. Which one, the last deal that he put on the table? The last one where you cut six months off the deal and I walk away with everything at the end of the I, term. Fam, that's why he, Dave said there's no way you cannot take this Especially deal. with what's going on now. I We'd take, have to go I, to court. I'd take that deal in a New York minute. I'm interested to hear why Sophia wouldn't. There must have been a spectacular offer from somewhere else. Well, I would have to Dave says like, that it's rumored, gonna move it's rumored a, a, they had an offer at uh, Wondry. Well, don't yeah. say that because you can be bought out of a contract. Right. So That's true. I'm not certain that, that Wondry would have I'm, I'm going off uh, just what, these, what, well, what Dave said, that Sophia was suing Barstool and Alex. So I'm going off what was placed in front of me. There's plenty of loopholes in which, or situations, let me say, because loopholes would be one of the situations where... They would not resign. They could go somewhere else. Like I said, get bought out. Maybe there's something in the well, language. Bought out is the only option right now, unless you're suing. Maybe they started showing her and, a new and brand. I don't know what their uh, individual exclusivity. And on top of yeah, that, that's, that's the part when we you, don't know. There's some to people, details. There's that, a lot of, details. of course, there is that we're missing. Uh, yeah. But when you're a dick to people in negotiations, at this point, whether you want to say it or not, Dave does have the leverage because he has that three year contract. He can say "fuck out of here." I don't need your money for your buyout. I'm going to hold this. No, he can do that if he wants. <laughs> I disagree. Well, I don't disagree. I just don't know if I agree or disagree. On paper, Dave has the leverage. But like Maul said last week, the pack is fucked up. I don't know how Alex sounds alone. I don't know how Alex sounds with the new co-host that they have to put there. I don't know oh, what no, they're no, no. doing. I'm, I'm, if I'm, Sophia to my point. does not come back, then I don't, I don't know what the, this looks like. No, I'm saying my point to the last uh, offer that he gave, Leverage here. No, I mean, I know he went on to say we're trying to do a deal with Alex by herself yeah, now. He told yeah, we don't know. That could be, he, that could be he, fucked up. He told Shorty, fuck off, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, what's next? We don't know. Yeah. Oh, we got a response? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> we got action. I've been waiting to hear from these, these young ladies. Oh, 12 minutes ago. Oh, this just dropped. Breaking news. Nowhere else but the JBP do you get this type of news. No, you get it on, it's on our Instagram. Oh, it's everywhere <laughs> now, but. Then we took the show to Barstool Sports. Okay. okay. There's been a lot of crazy shit being thrown Word. around. A lot of he say, she say out there. Some of it is true. Some, some of, of it, it is, is false. not. I'm going to be 100% open and honest with you. I, am, I way, tell more truth than the other person. Why anytime there's a back and forth, both people are saying, I am being 100% yeah, honest yeah. here. Well, because, that, that's a lie. Yeah, you're both a liar. Shut up. <laughs> right. Three well, sides. Let me just, let me just what... pick the lie that I like the best. Yeah. Alex and I created Call Her Daddy together. What happened, Queen? March of 2018, we created it, the two of us. They got the dates. And... Got, the March they, of 2018 they got, yeah, date. They got the dates, buddy. It's all. At on. that time, we were best friends, Take that date. roommates, arguably sisters. Daddy gang, you know you've been there from the beginning. Mm. Then we took the show to Barstool Sports. Okay. Did Barstool Sports help blow up Call Her Daddy? 100%. After some time had passed, Alex and I then both decided we wanted to consider some other options mm. for multiple reasons. Mm. One of them being for the benefit of the daddy gang, believe it or not. Okay. But we did. And do we regret the way we went about it? 
Absolutely. So you were wrong. We could have handled it differently. You were wrong is what you're saying. But we still wanted to Everything work something out with Barstool. <laughs> Wait, what? What is she saying? Well, right? Oh, they see, see, see. We could have handled it differently. But we still but wanted to work something out with we Barstool. We still wanted to work something out with no, Barstool. No, pause there, Rory. You can't steal second base and keep your foot on first. You cannot play both sides of the fence like that. Wow, someone should put that in a rap. I agree. Shut but, up, Rory. I mean, I understand what she's saying. Like, they probably still wanted to get something done. When you want to get something done, you don't fuck it up. That's not true. That's not true. Okay. And you can search for other options while still thinking maybe the one we're in is the best one. Yeah, gotta see what's out there. Sure. It's the meeting with Dave. And after the meeting with Dave, that's when negotiations started with both Alex and me to get a deal done. This is where the story gets extremely fucked up. Where? <laughs> right here. I found out that Alex had gone behind my back and done something. What? And I found out it wasn't the first time. What? And that's why we're here. She did what, Sophia? <laughs> no, you lying. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she did. No, she didn't. Come on. <laughs> Everybody knows that about Alex. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, why don't you? I trusted Alex. I feel betrayed. But ultimately, she was my best friend, and that doesn't change overnight, and... I'm willing to do call her daddy. I really am. I just can't do yeah, it under yeah. the circumstances that she wants. I can't do it while she's demanding that she controls the show. I don't want to be like her employee. Yeah, easy. Get Jerry out of here. We are partners. No, We've always been that way. We've no, come on, Sophia Cube. No, you're an employee. <laughs> and, and I can see why, though. Why? <laughs> Well, one person has been getting all of the business done and trying to keep relationships straight. One person has been influenced by their new boyfriend and has thrown all of this down the toilet. So what do you mean? That doesn't go. That doesn't make you straight to employee. Yeah, that doesn't mean you're an employee. <laughs> no, it means you're making bad choices. That means as you're a partner. up business. No, yeah. you're not. All right, that's, that's what y'all say. <laughs> no, you cannot give somebody I that type of power that's going to run your business in the mud. Partners have ran business into the mud more times than employees. That's arguing my point. Well, I'm, that's why I'm saying you shouldn't make someone be oh, in no, control I, that's going to run your company. But you right? can't just make that's your all partner. I'm you can't just make your partner. Well, I don't know their deal with each other, but you can't just make your partner an employee out of nowhere because you feel they made a bad decision. That's your partner. You could fight for that. You could fight for anything with the right lawyer. So then, why are you beefing with me? <laughs> not to say it's going to work, but you can. But fight not for only anything. did she fight for it, she went about it. She stepped the day and said, "Yo, I need to be paid more." She, she's the one that maintained Whoa, the they was, they was both employees at that time. Uh, but one of them stepped to Dave about being paid more, and one of them clearly had more focus in maintaining a relationship with Barstool. It's not really the point we're bringing up at all. That, I agree but that's with you. The point, I think that's but that's the point I'm though. bringing up. I think that's what she's saying. Like, Alex did some shady shit. Let's hear her. Let's hear her. Dunst. I trusted Alex. I feel betrayed. But ultimately, she was my best friend, and that doesn't change overnight. And I'm willing to do call her daddy. I really am. I just can't do it under the circumstances that she wants. I can't do it while she's demanding that she controls the show. I don't want to be like her employee. We are partners. We've always been that way. We've always been 50-50. And so... It's putting me in like a an extremely tough yeah. position. That's from the boyfriend. So here we are. Not necessarily. Yeah, I don't, I don't listen, think so. You, I think his influence is crazy in this entire thing. But no, I think that's just a straight up friend partnership right there. Friend, you know? No, 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 no. Listen to me. I agree with y'all about what she's doing. I'm only talking about the timing in which she is doing it where I say, oh, that's the boyfriend. That's the influence there. Maybe. About putting out this statement right now. Uh, no, because she could be replying to Dave right now. Right. But if Homegirl has been doing all the editing and maintaining of the relationship, I'm assuming that one just wasn't so focused on that. Or maybe, and now it sounds like she would like to be, but that's, which um, is cool. Yeah, so she's addressing how, why she felt so betrayed by a friend. You went behind my back. You was doing all this shit, and I had no idea. And this don't work like that. I'm down, too. 
That's it's not, not I work for you. Am I wrong? No, no. Because if one person is maintaining the relationships, maybe because that's the job that they chose yeah. to take, and you're like, all right, cool, you handle that. Which is not the smart thing to do. Don't get me wrong. You should be involved. But if she f- already had a relationship, and she's like, no, nah, I'm going to do the negotiation. You handle that. Cool. I'm not going to jump in the middle of it and be like, no, I'm going to jump in the negotiation too. If you're my voice yeah. and you're handling it. Because many, many times when you have partners, let's say you have a client that has a, obviously a bunch of employees. All right, you seem to have a good relationship with this gentleman that just handles administration shit. Right. So you just do that because we're better off negotiating with you over there. Right. When we do creative stuff, I'm cool with the creative department. I'll only focus on that type of shit. You split up duties when it comes to partnerships. Right. That's not a weird thing. Okay. You, that's not really replying to what I'm saying. What do you say? What I'm saying is, one of these people, and again, I'm speaking from the vantage point of not knowing whose value is what. I'm not all the way there in my knowledge of their the forming of their show. Right. Mm. One of them has an offer for their own podcast <laughs> to continue. They both did. Yeah, Dave. No, that's D- not true. Dave said, yeah. we'll do one with Sophia because they, they started fighting. So Dave said, all right, we could do two separate ones. Sophia, we'll put your shit on the call me daddy shit, and you could take it anywhere you want. Sophia's offers have been rescinded is what I'm saying. They've been rescinded. She doesn't have an offer, which is why we're getting a video saying, hey, I still want to do it, but this is why I can't. Alex, the one who maintained the relationship, the one who's been editing and probably focusing a little more on the podcast, is greenlit for not only a new show, but a bigger podcast percentage of shit right. well all of it that's what i'm her. that's the point that i'm making so yeah y'all not employees y'all a team blah 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 but clearly how y'all go about the business is separate listen one of the things i thank god most about this podcast ours here is that we're friends mm-hmm. right because i could see and i get sick of y'all sometimes and y'all get sick of me sometimes but at the end of it we're friends right it's tough playing the business game with People on air with you that's not your friend, you have to maintain that, all while playing the waiting game with the companies to come approach you and for them to get aligned with y'all thinking. You're playing two whole different games. One of them is going to implode. That's how I feel about shit. Uh Like, So I thank God that we're friends because you kind of avoid shit like this. (laughs) No, but But, that's what Sophia is saying she thought was the case, that they are friends and that they would avoid some shit like this. And let's let's say they started out both as employees. So when Alex goes to Barstool, she's only negotiating for herself. I'm just a, a lonely employee of Barstool. What she does with her salary is her business. If we are independent contractors and we have that conversation, the difference of the two, and we have an LLC together that's split 50-50, when we go, we go in together to negotiate. We're no longer just a sole employee. That Even has if to, we're not physically together. Like that, yeah. Like I could see their, her feeling a way about her partner, who she thought she was negotiating on her behalf, is going in and negotiating more money for her and less money for her. But they're employees, so it's like, I can't negotiate a salary for another employee. But if I'm editing and you're not, then why can't I ask for more money than you? Well, I think I don't think there was ever a beef about that. Yeah, I don't think that's what the beef was about. The beef is she gets paid more, and she went behind my back to ask for it. And Dave is saying... Yeah, but she's been editing shit, and no, my relationship a, is with her. But that's a, that's a legit beef, though. It, like, if you're my friend and you're going in there negotiating for more, mm. and you don't tell me that, that's a beef. Because you could tell me that, and I'd be like, okay, cool. But let me at least well in our know friendship. What's going on. Whose job is it to say what gets disclosed and what does not? Well, that's that's gonna always that's gonna always change because you might feel like. There's things that you don't want to tell in business. Like, what if I need a couple extra dollars and and I okay. and, and I need it fast? If we're partners, tell I got to come tell you, yo, yeah, I'm yeah. hard on my ass. That's what partners if we're friends. Are I got to sure. put my ego and pride to the side. That's what partners mean. And, and awesome. And See, I'm playing devil's advocate right now, but I stand on that uh, moral code that y'all are talking about right now. However, that's a ra- that's rarefied air. That's that's yeah. That's not that's and, not status quo. And I think that's the position that Sophia is in with what she's saying in this video. Is but she keep going back to we, we're friends. So she just assumed that we're friends. We were friends before this business shit. We should be friends during and after this business shit. And if, if you're friends on the same show, I'm sure you guys are talking about your salaries and the money that is being brought in. Absolutely. If I can so get yeah, I'm going to say, yo, I'm going to go see Dave. If I can about get my shit. 75% of the pie now, yeah, you're my friend, but that's tempting. 
for someone who maybe don't so much stand on that code we talking about. Then, the, then you don't again. And y'all ain't friends, right? About to say then she don't she feels different about y'all relationship. There we go. Ding ding ding. We hit that in the head. Come on, where else will you get that type of unpacking? <laughs> Let's see what else she has to say. Is that the end of her? So here we are. You have to edit this. I do want to tell the daddy gang how much I love them, especially the ones that have stuck by me, put into words how much it is meant to me. Am I in a daddy Um, gang? I will be eternally grateful. You guys are the reason I'm here. All right, come on. I don't want to hear anybody's gratitude. There was more. I was making sure she wasn't getting any more points. No, no, no. no, I'm I'm fine with that. All right, you're just not daddy gang then. Me? Yeah. You're not gang gang. That hurts. That's like me not getting a Rockefeller chain. <laughs> it's it's pretty much the same thing if you think about it. Hove didn't give me a Rockefeller chain and then gave everybody a Rockefeller chain. That's true. Except for you. Like, what a slap in the face. And Fab, who's your man? Are you guys really friends? Well, not according to Maul. <laughs> that is true. According to Maul, I hate Fab. <laughs> That's not what I see. See how fast he changed it? That's not what I said. <laughs> That's not what I said at all. Don't do that. Um, what else we got? What else we got uh, that's important to More get out there? Lib- 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 oh, hey! Okay! Hey, oh, let me put my code in. Talk to you guys. We, we have a, uh, a new label mate, a new Joe. Are we going to get Spotify chains? I think, I think a, uh, a richer Joe, but <laughs> he's here and he's, he's entered the, uh, the neighborhood. Joe Rogan, uh, is officially, uh, part of Spotify. Uh, as of September 1st, you can get his podcast on Spotify and all the other platforms. Come the end of the year, it will be exclusively on Spotify, audio and video, which I thought was the more interesting part, that video will be on Spotify as well. Yeah, There will be no more YouTube for Joe Rogan. They're, they they haven't launched any uh, video stuff officially yet, have they? Not that I've seen. Though. I haven't seen any uh, Spotify video. No, I know they were running tests on it. Um but just knowing the value of Joe Rogan's YouTube channel oh, no and doubt. what that brings, that's a that's a crazy deal. Liberty, liberty, liberty. <laughs> no YouTube premium? <laughs> Wait, did, did they pay for this ad? Is this you trying to get some extra bread on the side like Damn, Sophia? How many ads do they have in <laughs> here? Jophia. Yeah, you're Jophia. <laughs> get you trying to get the extra deals. Get out of here. Stop I'm... dating Peter Nelson. <laughs> Stop dating Peter. <laughs> there we go. All right, go ahead. No, get your. Every get your time I'm off. doing anything on the computer, Roy's whole focus goes to my computer. No, because I'm trying to anticipate what you're going to do. It's I, only I here to be paired with what you were doing. So why do you stop while I'm Are trying to, to repeat while I'm trying I just to add? Said? No, I want you to continue mm-hmm. your conversation. You were going somewhere, and I'm trying to produce. I'm trying to get you guys to react. I gave you the whole entire spiel of what the fuck was going on. Play, react. Play, play, play Joe's uh his audio from his announcement. Joe Rogan shit. Yeah, play it over that. Play it over that. Now coming to the Spotify podcast game. Uh, it's a big deal. Y'all you've scared, seen man. him on YouTube. Park scared. He got to guard that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Park, you you've guard seen you. him on the <laughs> UFC. Uh, Park's forty. Fear, Fear factor. factor. No, nah, you've show. seen him on Fear <laughs> Factor. What, was that news radio? Was that the, uh, what he started on? Yeah. Uh, I'm joking. Show. It, this is a big deal. It is it's huge. Really big deal, Joe. Hey. Multi billion. It's just sound hard with the B. <laughs> it does. He sound like he's coming to do work. I ain't going to hold been, you. should have been the original. <laughs> Look out, Billy. Uh. Jamel Shamel. <laughs> Button Schmudden. <laughs> Just, only, shit, just shit on Bill Simmons. Only right one Rogan can be Hogan. Uh, <laughs> 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 you, you like to shit. <laughs> Which Joe will steal the show? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm having too much fun. Look at Judd. Fuck out of here, Judd. <laughs> oh, Mike fucking lies on TV. The fucking pizza guy, huh? 
<laughs> you wasn't digging the pizza story? Listen, man. I can't believe that's yeah. what they landed really on. I cannot that, believe. I know who really rang that. I know what they ordered. I, <laughs> I know what they really ordered that night. Yeah, y'all call well, it why is Mike on TV lying? Listen, back to Joe. Come on, we'll get to yeah, Mike yeah, in a minute. Yeah. That's your man. Put the cape down. Put it back in your I'm pocket. I, Look at you, because I know you got the portable cape. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, Maul was there and ate the pizza with him and, in fact, got food poisoning as well. Yeah, Maul right. ate the pizza, I, I that, the pizza. That, that Mike spit on. <laughs> yeah, I delivered that. That Mike spit on. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, Joe Rogan, exclusively on Spotify, but on other platforms as well. Uh, at least for a year of the term. And then the video and audio becomes a Spotify exclusive and Spotify only. Not even a year. Um. Six months. Spotify stock has gone up. <laughs> Went up 7.7%. Because Rogan is the fucking wow. man. This is a really, really, really big announcement. Uh, Rogan is the shark. Rogan is the shark. Uh, my initial thought was... Uh, my initial thought was... Damn, I don't really know why Rogan would do something like this. My very next thought was... Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. My first thought was, damn, I don't even want to know the numbers attached to this. And my second thought was, damn, I have to find out the numbers attached to this. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was no, we, we should know those. Yeah. In the same boat. Because they put out these headlines that steal the show, but they don't give us the piece that we really want. Mm-hmm. Even when they announced Bill Simmons shit, uh, the announcement of how much money he got came later. Rogan said his podcast had 190 million downloads per month last year. Down, downloads, by the way. Per month. Downloads. Per month. Downloads. <laughs> That's the very key word right there. If you get 190 not streams, million downloads not views, in the next five downloads. years, that's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to congratulate you and big you up. You get that per month. He's getting that per month. I don't think there's any doubt uh, of who Rogan is and what he does in this space. I mean, where's the download farms? I call bullshit. <laughs> Think he got the streaming farms going? Come on, fam. He got to. We know they cancel it after one credit card orders a certain amount. We learned that this week. Oh, we did learn that. Yeah, Six yeah, nine yeah. or Doja Cat? Which That's one is it? it? Mm. They just threw out a lot of shit to confuse you even more. <laughs> but we'll get to that Billboard shit in a second. Um, but no, it's, this is one of those deals that they'll, they'll never publicly announce what those numbers were. No, this isn't the ninety million dollar Nike contract. No, this is some other shit that will not be announced. <laughs> The video's added, so I have to assume that this is well above 500. That's a guess. I haven't spoken to anybody. I have no inside information. This sounds like that type of well, deal. How, how long do you think, years-wise, his contract is? Three. Three? I'm guessing. I think he said it was longer than three, right? He said multi-year. He didn't say specific. Yeah, he just said multi-year. Um, my guess was five if they were doing video. Um, you know it's a lot because we all, all of us out there, just naturally assumed that Rogan was too big of a shark to even entertain anything that anybody ever had to say to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he definitely. This is definitely, you know. And we do know that Spotify, as of late, has been owning properties mm-hmm. when they purchase. Mm-hmm. Like that part is in the articles when they come out. Right. This one, Joe Rogan makes specifically clear that. This is still a licensing deal, mm-hmm. and I own it, and nothing about my show is changing. Right. So this deal is just very unique. Congratulations to Joe Rogan. If he's doing it, I have to assume it's something that he wants to do. Right. Um, and I'm anxious. I'm curious if he takes down with that licensing deal, uh, if that was a factor that the whole back catalog will be available still on YouTube and uh, and Apple Music and SoundCloud and all that other stuff. Uh I'd be interested to see if he if he takes all that down. He did say that he would still he would still have clips on YouTube, mm. but as far as the video in whole, you would have to go to Spotify's platform yeah. to see that. Interesting. On their in-app vodcasts, which I think is a good good. <laughs> Shut up, Paul. That's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, but don't say that like that. <laughs> and, and do your neck like that. They call it vodcasts. Vodcasts. Oh, no. <laughs> did you want to be a, a VJ when you were a kid? Never. Well, you are now. <laughs> <laughs> Maul wanted to be hits in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Look what Joe remember. Why did your brain retain that that show? Like, why did your brain? And that's my guy. Shout out to Hits. 
hits in the streets. <laughs> he was ahead of his time. He was doing all the shit niggas is doing on YouTube. On yeah, no, that's true. Now. You're right. That's all he you're was doing. You're absolutely then. right. Shout out to him. Um, yeah, what do y'all think? React. Uh, I mean, that that changes the entire podcast game to me, at least. Yeah. How? How so? Uh, the fact that tell the, us more. The biggest, of course, Spotify had already announced that they were looking to get into podcasting. We see that they have a whole podcast division now. No, that's um, their focus. The fact that you're going after the, I don't even want to say arguably, the number one podcaster right now yeah, to do a whole licensing no deal arguable. exclusively, like yeah. this is not even this is really right big. Now, the of, nothing since to argue. Podcast is nothing to argue. Yeah. Wasn't sure if you were going to say Mark Maron did Obama. But see, I got to, I, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm on a different side. But I'll, I'm just, on, I'm going to play devil's advocate. Like, I get it. Joe Rogan's super dope and all that. But I think a lot of the times when I look at, Podcast like this is because a lot of these dudes are guest driven shows. Can you get more in the mic? Pause. Can you, you can hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. They're, they're like guest driven shows, which means like a lot of their shows are based upon who the guest is. Mm-hmm. You know All what I'm right. saying? Like if you have Elon Musk on. I don't think that's the case with Joe Rogan. <laughs> Here, yeah, here's the thing. I'm, where... not, no, I'm not saying he can't pull in a, a, a large audience by itself. I'm speaking in terms of what we do and what he does. It's two different things. It's that's not true. the same. It's not. The, it's no, two definitely not. It's two different audiences. I think that people tune in. They actually hate when we have guests here, right? Like, and I think that's that's the 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 ace in our in our in our hand is that people are tuning in for us. They're not tuning in just because. No, we have a whole bunch of aces. In no, I get hand. that. I want to be clear saying, like, this, this I don't deal, want you to think because I'm big enough, Joe. No, Rogan no, no. I salute Joe Rogan. I love Joe Rogan. I love Joe Rogan. I wasn't, I wasn't saying, comparing. I, I wasn't even thinking about us in yeah. this deal. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm just saying because people have been at. You but know, no, you have to. This all day. Saying, yeah. Oh, how do you guys feel? I saw the haters. How do you? No, not hate, but this is how do y'all feel? I saw some haters though. How's it? How does it affect? It's over for y'all. Y'all moving forward, and I'm like, I don't think it affects us, and. Any ways, really? I think it's eye opening for. I'm gonna speak for me. I'll let y'all speak. It's eye opening. Wait, for there's, me. there's. I'm sorry, Mo. There's hate in becoming number two in a pool of over a million. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, people Absolutely. hate on anything. People man. hate on anything, Joe. No, no, no. I know what you're saying, but of course there's hate. Yes. Have absolutely. you have you been on the internet? Yes, there's hate, there. and that's what I'm saying. I'm just speaking to that. Just let people know that we salute Joe Rogan first and foremost. Absolutely. But. We're not. It doesn't change what we do here because it's two different. I thought we of, saluted like all podcasters. We do. We do. We do. But we, we have to say it. And Joe, there's hate when you're number one and become less number one ish, even when you're still number one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you can right. fall off and still be number one, and they'll still be like, "Yo, this shit is trash." Right. It's over for him. Like, nah. If, I don't know if you noticed. I've been number one for quite some time. I disagree with that a little bit. Only because there are so many different outlets now. Mm-hmm. So, and none of them are reporting actual numbers. Like, this is the death of us seeing Joe Rogan numbers. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's over with. Yeah. Now, when, when the report comes out that says Joe Rogan is number one, we'll assume it to be true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we will no longer be able to see no, that's the case. Not. Number one. We and, never saw all his numbers. And either, number by the way. two. His YouTube numbers are ridiculous. Insane. If but that's, ne- that's not all his numbers, though. That's what I'm saying. There's more. His audio, we never saw. Yeah. yeah. But what I'm saying is, uh, one, we won't get numbers anymore. And uh, two, there's a number one somewhere, everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For sure. So that's why it's just a little... Like, this is great that Spotify is uh, making these types of moves. They've been doing that, if you've been watching with Gimlet... Uh, with Bill Simmons, with Parkass, with they they've they've been on this wave and they yeah. have an abandoned ship. Yeah. It's good to see that they're progressing in that. Mm-hmm. And that it's working and podcasting is lucrative. That also showed me with this. All right. We're yeah, willing to why. invest in someone that is gonna cost a shit ton of money because we believe that this is here to stay. I this think, isn't a fad. Right. This yeah, is, for the people that are hating on that, you would have to listen, if you want to look at me as Dak Prescott, I have zero issue with that. When Patrick Mahomes gets the bag, I'm throwing a party. <laughs> yeah. Like, for me, this raises value. The same way the pandemic yes. raises value. It raises value. It raises uh, leverage. And, and listen, for some of us, let's be really excited that now there's a new audience 
on Spotify. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the Absolutely. other thing with some of these exclusive deals. You're working within the parameters of of the platform. Mm-hmm. That goes back to what Joe I was Rogan saying. Joe Rogan is now bringing the bad bitches to the club. That's just a term, a figure no, no, of speech. No. Yeah. That, uh, but that goes back to what I say. When I say, you know, when big artists drop their album, mm-hmm. it's, I, I wouldn't run from that release date. Put my album out too. Because while yeah. all the Beyonce fans are there to get B's album, guess who else's album is sitting right there? Right. Mine. I'm gonna get some some of those listeners gonna be like, who's this? Yeah. And just click on it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not a bad thing. It's, this is actually a big moment for I think all podcasters. He, he I agree. Added to added I agree. to the community. Every yeah. podcaster should be celebrating the move and trying to find out how much money he got. Right. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah, because even people that are our listeners were like, Yeah, you guys kinda I didn't really fuck with podcasting up until y'all. I found a lot of new podcasts because I've noticed I liked podcasting. Right. right. So now you go into the podcast section of Spotify and you have the biggest podcast there. All right, let me see what else they got. Mm-hmm. And don't get it fucked up. Narcissistic Joe is still taking some credit for this happening. <laughs> cause cause of the name? Joe? <laughs> yeah. No. No, I built this city. On rock and roll? You fucking right. <laughs> you fucking right. Listen, something happened between this relationship because I'm positive this isn't the first time that Spotify approached Joe Rogan. Sure not. Oh no. Of course I, not. I think everybody everybody's approached, been approaching Joe Rogan yeah, for the last I mean, X amount of years, and I think he's just I been. I might on have some, approached Joe Rogan for years. Yeah, word. <laughs> like, and what's I think, up, man? I think he's just been Yo. like, nah, I'm cool. No, yeah. I'm what's cool. The There's yeah. no point. Yeah. Why would I do this? I'm not entertaining any of it. Yeah. Uh. And something changed there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something changed there. Well, I think I think Joe Rogan always had obviously the leverage, and I think that this is probably something where, like, we don't know the deal, we don't know the specifics, but this probably was something that he can say, you know what? All right, this is solidified for however many years, so now I can also focus on something else now. Well, that's the other thing too, Mo. When when you were bringing up the haters and people that might group us in or feel like this is a bad thing, B- be clear when some of these announcements happen. While we're in the same space, there are levels to this. There's levels to this. That's one of the reasons that I didn't reply to the fuck shit last week. Not because I didn't have anything to say and not because shit was all peaches and cream. It's just because it's levels to this. So when the Bill Simmons shit came out and then when the fucking Joe Rogan shit comes out, Joe Rogan is in year whatever of his business model. Mm Mm-hmm. Bill Simmons is in year whatever of his business model. Mm -hmm. Both of these gentlemen are on their umpteenth Mm -hmm. network and situation. Right. Mm -hmm. They both not only are extremely deserving of these bags, but they've earned these bags. Absolutely. This is the space that they are supposed to be in. Absolutely. I put an album out in 2015. (laughs) Right. 16. Right. Right. Like we're in year four of this. Right. Right. (laughs) Yeah. Which is why two again, of a professional situation, right. a corporate licensing situation. Right, right. So I don't necessarily view it the same because there are levels. There are levels. The GoDaddy shit is important for us to highlight because there are levels. Savon got a podcast. There are levels. Brandon has a podcast. Mm-hmm. There are levels mm-hmm. to this. Mm-hmm. And it's important to pay attention at what's going on at each of those levels if you aspire to be at each of those levels. That is why I bring those things up here for the people that are a little confused. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I get it. Makes sense. But this is a big moment for all podcasters. Yeah, let me round of applause, applause yeah. to Joe, Joe Rogan. Rogan the Joe Rogan experience. And Spotify. And Spotify. Yeah. Congratulations. That's yes. A, that's, that's a hell of a And specifically w. all the ones that are either exclusive to Spotify or join the Spotify network to Joe's narcissism thing. I know we say that, but there's a point there. Yeah, I think Spotify saw all their numbers at the end of last year mm-hmm. and going on now and said, all right, this is, we'll invest. This right. is a thing. This is a, yeah. This so a I, I think everyone that was on Spotify, period, um, I mean, just so happened that we were number one, contributed to all of this. Right, for sure. We have a business here now at Spotify. So let's go get the biggest fucking podcast if, that we can. If you couldn't tell that this was a business before, the global pandemic should to add to that thinking Hmm. like we are i think this i I i've thought this a lot while i've been at home we are really fortunate to be working in the digital space where while there are some issues you work around them Uh it's a business that's pandemic proof Mm. to some degree to some degree to some degree yeah Mm. i'm really i'm really for uh we're really fortunate for that um 
All right, 90 minutes of pod talk. Mm, I mean, it's a podcast. Pod about pods. Got a pod about the pods. It's a pod and a vodcast, Rory. That is true. The needle, the needle has moved today it's in the both. podcast world. It, it has moved. Did you feel it? Absolutely. Felt the needle, Felt the needle move? Hell yeah. Pause. Felt the aftershock? Mm-hmm. Pause. Yeah, I get so annoyed when, <laughs> Feeling it's, the needle. when it's like an earthquake. A sick pause. And it, Paul, hey. When it's an earthquake in LA and all the LA people are like, oh my God, did you feel that? Yeah. On. Nigga, nigga, no. <laughs> I didn't. Nigga, no. <laughs> no. Not out there. No. Um, no. All right, so what else do we need to report on? Billboard versus everybody? Billboard, Ariana, and Justin Bieber versus everybody? Sure. Or versus anybody that cares about Billboard? Yeah, Appears that's that a way. bigger question. People caring about Billboard. Do you guys care about Billboard? No. No, never not happened. at all. No. Well, loosely, loosely. I think it's cool when artists that make great music get credit for it in that way, but yeah. I don't. it's not something I... Think is a stat. It's a it's, it's a, big, a it's a label thing. It's like me. people can about the Forbes, like who has the most money. It's like those numbers are never accurate. Anyway. But it's not even that. It, that's barely even equatable because it depends on if you get number one on what everyone else is putting out. Like yeah, yeah. you might have been number one, but what else came out that week? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like certain number ones hold different weight over other number ones. Yeah. I was happy to see. I was happy to see Roddy still on the top ten for some reason. That made me happy. But mm-hmm. other than that. I don't give a fuck about who's number one, two, three. There was a report that came out uh, yesterday or two days ago about Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat's number one being rescinded after the investigation, and that that was going around. And I thought I was tweeting in defense of Nicki Minaj, and I and I tweeted, uh, "Has Billboard actually reported on this at at all?" Mm-hmm. Like, are we just spreading around unsubstantiated shit? Well, would Billboard report that they were lying about their own numbers? <laughs> they did actually report on it. Oh, did they? Yeah. What was their what did they defense? Say? Or... They just uh, laid out basically their metrics, you know, how how they judge things. Based... Can, we, can we pull that no, up? No, but that that was in response to Duke. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That yeah. wasn't in response to the Nicki and Doja uh, record being Billboard missing, reporting? but apparently there was just a glitch. So oh, Billboard okay. never reported on that because it wasn't actually true and it a, did still show on glitch. Billboard. <laughs> yeah, it was a glitch. Listen, I'm not a Billboard act. I don't know how often or not the glitches happen, but right. that's what happened. Either way, I was attacked. I was mauled uh, by happens. the barbs. I'm sure. Glitch happened. I was oh, you mauled. Were? Yeah, I was yeah, mauled sorry, by the barbs. It's fine. Was Maul one of the barbs? It happens every now and then. Maul's yeah, a bar. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck Maul. you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Maul might have missed that because he was so, uh, so tra- uh, entranced with Summer Walker's new makeup. <laughs> it was good makeup. <laughs> Some was bad. Well, what y'all need In Maul's defense, he looked great. Some was bad. <laughs> but who says she wasn't bad? Nah, you was trying to shit on her at first. Not tr- not how she looks. And Maul, being entrenched that. in makeup was kind of funny. Don't do that, Maul. Yeah, she, I have never tried to bit. shit on yeah, how Summer right, Walker yeah, looks. It's a few of them. That you, is a you beautiful girl. Back a few top, that is a beautiful yeah, girl. Yeah, I don't know. Now, now you on board. The I only know, thing I no, ever no, shitted on. No, I don't want to sit next to you. Sit next to me right here. Don't worry about it. I only ever shitted on her performances. No. Her album is still crazy. Oh, absolutely. Her new music is, has been crazy. Absolutely. And Features she looks crazy. great. Yeah. yeah. You know what we say about Summer. She looks like that the hood rat the hood rat that's fire. Yeah. Summer's bad. Which is our favorite. Yeah, that's all of our favorites. Please don't <laughs> think that's an insult. No, that's yeah, that's, no. that's our That's shit. like ideal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Look, <laughs> so we look for no, no. So we look for You know, 100%. Summer 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 is a beautiful girl. So Maul might have missed some things cuz he was glued to her pages. I mean, he he flew for to Toronto for that. She right. got back with London on this nigga Maul. And that's Cash Dog got somebody on Maul. Maul was trash. Maul's trash, honestly, for real. No, no, I for real. Man. Listen, man, what you want me to do? Bag. Nah. Would you would you dirty Mac for summer? I was I would dirty Mac for nobody. Okay. I like the I like the morals and principles. It's Mr. Morals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were we talking about before this summer walker shit? Uh Billboard. Billboard. All right, so uh there's a dispute. There what is a dispute? dispute? There's a dispute I, over who's number one. Duke got number three, he did some shit. Uh, claiming Billboard uh, allowing people to purchase number one because Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber record at the last minute added like sixty thousand units based off of six credit cards. Ariana, Ariana <laughs> responded. Swipe piece for that's yeah, crazy. Niggas got, <laughs> yeah, niggas hit Brooklyn for the scammers. Yo. Uh, Ariana responded on day one with a heartfelt message 
Oh, uh, the next day, Justin Bieber replied in support of Ariana with a heartfelt message. Of course. And then day three, Billboard actually replied with a heartfelt message in defense of Justin and Ariana in response to Duke. All three of these huge entities were responding to Duke. Oh, my God. I have, I'm checked out on anything involving Duke. Same. I just think ben. it's funny that Billboard is replying along with Justin and Ariana for this number one record shit. Nobody that I know has heard any of these records. Same. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Like, Billboard don't really run my world and run what I'm playing in the, in the house. At all. That's the beauty and, of being And numbers, l- numbers lie. Yeah. All the time. Now, Billboard yeah. replied and said, listen, you can only buy four copies with a credit card. Anything else is not qualified. Uh, Billboard only counts U.S. streams, not international streams like Duke was doing. Like, they did give a response. But to me, the response means nothing. We do know that business is attached to Billboard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, do think, we, do we have to know the exact business and how it goes? No, nah, not at all. But all right. we know there's business attached. The end. <clears throat> But that's, the but that's like all of these fucking, that's like all of the streamers and the labels and the right. media hubs and there's business attached to all of it. Right. It's only stupid ass us just advertising things for free and giving away content for the look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's all business. All of it. I just but here's the something. thing with, with Billboard too. Tell them the thing. I, like the fans don't be <laughs> caring about the shit either. I'm ignoring you. Um <laughs> Like fans don't run the billboard either. The hives like do. it's some industry shit. The hives didn't know about it until the major artists started arguing about it. Yeah, true. Like no one really people cares about this shit. People don't care about this because like I said, with streaming now, you you are your own DJ. If you like the record and like the artist, you can listen to that artist all day if you want to in your car, oh, yes. headphones. You don't ever have to go to radio and be like, I hate this song, I don't want to hear this song. It's the but- same ten people that stream top ten billboard. Mm-hmm. It's the same 10. Post Malone is going to be in there. Roddy is now looks like a main fixture. The weekend. Ariana is always going to be there. Weekend is always going to be there. Justin is always going to be there. Justin's always going to be there. Duke is always going to be there. That's Lucian. Don't get uh, it fucked up. Don't let uh, the ratchet fool you. It's Lucian still. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, still Lucian. I don't know how long it's going to work. It's still Lucian. So we know Lucian don't care nothing about all that ratchet tat chat shit niggas is out here talking about. I don't care what Snoop is talking about. No. He's looking at the numbers. Mm-hmm. That's Lucian. Duke is going to be there for a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? Like, it's the same shit. Mm-hmm. We'll leave two spots open and rotate for whoever has the hot song, and that's it. Right. Yeah. Beyonce is going to always be there. Yep. Meg, they like a lot. As honorable honorable mention and someone who looks to be a mainstay in the future, yeah. I mean, you could just see what relationships are being cultivated is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and Meg has the YouTube power with, with Lior still, whether he wants to say it or not, being part of 300. <laughs> Listen, um, man. Listen, it's a lot going on out there. Do the science, y'all. Oh, Drake, very Drake, little to do. Slide, Drake is gonna always be there, man. That's mm-hmm. Lucian. <laughs> yeah. Like this is not yeah. a game that's just open for everybody to play. That's a fact. That's why when you said it was cool that Roddy was there, it's cool sometimes when someone that's not supposed to be there breaks in. Yeah. That's the only time Billboard is cool. Listen, Roddy is in a go daddy, uh, not go daddy, call, <laughs> call me daddy He's situation on. of his own, but not really because he's going to get the bag. Mm-hmm. He's going to get the bag. Well, Whatever explain. his contract said is now torn apart yeah. for the people who are unaware. <laughs> the verbiage yeah. is different. It no longer exists. Yeah. And whatever, is, <clears throat> pardon me, whatever is to exist in the new contract is coming from Roddy. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a fact. Yeah. That is the manual on how to go about outperforming your contract. I did Atlantic say something to him. They wouldn't. <laughs> they the wouldn't. Baby, the baby's another one that seems like he's going to be on Billboard for a while. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's so. another one of those. He's one of them now. Yeah. He's one of them now. Travis. <clears throat> yeah. Sure. Travis. You know the ones. Yeah. You know the ones, man. Yeah. You know the ones. That's it. Well, some of which have to maintain that for real. Like, I think Baby has to maintain that for real. Ariana... Makes great music, but she could put out some bullshit and it's still going to be there. Yeah. If she's Baby puts Lucian out some, too. Most of these are Lucian. Yeah, it's universal. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of universal on here. For sure. For sure. But sorry, Whatever. sorry I guys. I don't want to lose Bill, the Bill audience with geeky music stuff. I, I hate to break it to you. I, didn't think I, I hate to, to break it to you. Numbers always <laughs> lie. That should be in a rap. Don't break it to him, Rory. 
Yeah, word. Someone should rap that. Shut up, Rory. <laughs> um, what else is important out there? Actually, we have a whole segment called "That's Important" from Parks. We're we're over two hours. We might as well give them something important. That's the intro. Ten ten wins. Parks, we gotta get you a better intro. Um, one second. Let me find my little segment. Oh, push the T push the T and Mad Lib collabo coming in the fall. I'm, I find that important. Me too. In the fall. Me too. Facebook bought f- Giphy. That's a pretty big. That's deal. important. Four hundred million dollars. That's all they got. God. Yeah. Look at Wait, that. Wait, Giphy only got four hundred million. You're worried. That's all. Huh? Million. Do you know how big Giphy is? No. You know how big Have you ever seen a GIF in your life? You know how big four hundred million is. <laughs> Have you ever seen a GIF in your life? Yes. All right. Yo, you you move the goalpost on a lot of things, man. I don't think so at all. You think it's a lot or not a lot? I think it's a lot. I don't know. It's a pretty big platform. Dog, gifts. But it is other people's content. <laughs> we just reported that Joe Rogan got 100. <laughs> or over. It said over, but 100. We just reported that. Mm-hmm. No, I don't think Giphy should get 400 million, but I don't know. So if y'all are, if y'all are enlightening sh- me, then more. don't laugh at me for Giffy ignorance. No, you're like, laughing at us. Tell me. Gifts are typically I didn't laugh at Giffy. all in this conversation. I don't know what gifts should get. Giphy is built into all of our phones. That's where most yes. people pull gifts from on everything. That's where everyone gets gifts from. It's like the background uh, gif meme app. Giphy is a billion dollar company. I would think Absolutely. so. So that's why you sound surprised. Yes. Yeah. Got it. And for Facebook to buy it, that's, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah. You know, they, they got it. <laughs> they could, that they may, could, they could that might be billion. a twice over billion dollar company. Uh, yeah. Um, Katina Bynum was hired as. You don't uh, just be attaching numbers to shit. Huh? You don't just be attaching numbers. So do you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Katina Bynum was uh, hired as executive vice president of East Coast Labels for Universal Music. Uh, she's a woman of color in a power position in the music business. So I want to salute that. Salute that. Salute, salute, salute that. that. Absolutely. Uh, rest in peace, Fred Willard, mm-hmm. actor, comedian. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw that. Rest uh, in peace, Fred. They're opening uh, U.S. theaters back up, mostly drive-ins, though. I thought that was kind of interesting because where do they still have drive-ins? Upstate New York. Yeah, in my hometown, there's a drive-in, and it's in Cali somewhere. Oh yeah, no mm-hmm. way in New York City though. Yeah, no. That should be too lit. It'd be too packed. They're opening theaters back up, and I'm done dating. <laughs> uh, there's a push in Congress for uh, competitive concert ticket prices. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, involving mostly uh, Live Nation and Ticketmaster, so they can't price gouge uh, concert tickets because they have like basically a monopoly over ticket prices. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, more will be revealed. Uh, there's a Jeffrey <laughs> Epstein uh, doc coming to Netflix on May. I saw 27th. the trailer for that. Really know. excited about that type of stuff. If you know my bag, they got to give us the real though. They're not. They're not. You of course so? not. No. No. They can't give us the real. They're not. But I am excited to, to to watch this. This is May 27th? Yeah, May 27th. It says I'm, it's exposing the money, power, and secrets behind the international sex trafficking ring. I don't, you know. I'm sure Jeffrey Epstein's excited to watch it on his island as well, too. <laughs> Killed himself. Are you rolling with that one? I was rolling with that the first time we ever talked about it. I don't know if I'm rolling. They might have killed him. No, he did. <laughs> uh the Roots signed a first look deal at uh, UTV He's with big, NBC. Big, I think that's a pretty big deal. So Hip hop is moving in uh, media. Um, oh, that's awesome. Another win. Yeah, another win. Come on, man. Wins everywhere. Gotta salute the wins. Wins everywhere. Uh, there's an article I read about. Um, Luda had a song. Acoustic music is up over pop music and like digital music during the quarantine, like significantly. People what music? Pe- like acoustic music, more like live instruments. Non poppy. Oh, like real shit. People yeah, trying to relax and meditate. Yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, hip hop was down fifteen percent until Drake released his album, and it moved it back up to kind of yeah, even. The savior, Drake is Joe Rogan. Nobody listen to hip hop in, in in the crib. I've been said that. The last time you well, went to somebody crib and they was banging like hip hop music. Not <laughs> not pop hip hop, but I, I listen to uh, Parks. I'm never talking shit. about you in hip hop. <laughs> like, stop telling me what you listen. It might be a live fucking lyricist lounge in here. When I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't listen to hip-hop that'd be kind of dope. House. Nigga, I, nobody listens to hip hop in the crib, bro. I don't believe that. I don't believe niggas is banging hardcore hip hop. I got to be in the mood. Like I do, but I'm not in this. I'm not speaking about myself. But niggas don't do that. That's that's not a thing. I don't agree. I think a lot of people listen to hip hop. Shit, just in not the, in the house. Not, not necessarily mm. like pop hip hop. Like I'm not listening to club Man, your hip-hop. neighbors are more inclined to call the police if you banging Wu Tang Clan and if you bring it, banging Anita Baker. That's true. 
That's all it is. Nobody want to hear that shit all loud at 10 in the morning. Turn that yeah, shit the, down. Yeah, the times I be blasting <laughs> music that mall, shit mall down, is like, bro. like, if I turn a rap song on at 6 in the morning, man, turn that, that cop's going to be right at <laughs> my <laughs> nigga. If you don't get your ass out of here, you do not man. belong here. Yeah. Um, there's another article about uh, major radios trying to get uh, a, a majority of the, the grants being held out for uh, or handed out for quarantine uh, money, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, not much information there for you, but that's what I got. Well, thank you, Parks. You're welcome. That was pretty informative, and yeah. all of that stuff is indeed important. Indeed. I got to tell you, man, Deep Condition Parks is like a totally different player. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if aerodynamically he gets more lift on his shot when yeah, he has I do. conditioning I do. in his head. But it's this is my natural. This is, this is it's me just my something about natural the Natural state. Yeah, 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 we got to get yeah, him yeah. deep conditioned before the game. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. What'd you guys think that's, of the- That's his afro. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you guys think of the final two uh, episodes of Jordan shit? I yeah, well, I'll go last. Michael Jordan. I'll, I'll let Maul, liar. Maul lead this one. <laughs> I thought the last two episodes were pretty disappointing. Disappointing? Yeah, and the, and this, cool. like, the rest of the episodes were phenomenal. The last two were just kind of like, just told the story. You know what I mean? It wasn't really like insight or like a closure or there was no point. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like in a 10 part documentary series, we would have learned something new, and I kind of well, thought we, they were we, saving yeah. that. I mean, well, the, da- the dance ends. Well, no doubt. I think, I think what a lot of people should have learned is, you know, why Michael Jordan punched Steve Kerr in the face. Steve Kerr started to make a lot of shots after he got punched in his face, didn't he? <laughs> so, I mean, in hindsight, you got to understand what Mike was taking the culture. Like, I'm going to punch you in your face if you don't hit these open shots. You start hitting open Isn't shots, it? you don't get punched in your face. I think that's a pretty <laughs> good... Trade off. The, the world would be a much better place if people got punched in the face this more. This is what I'm trying I to mean, tell there, you. I mean, there is some validity to that. This is what I'm trying to tell you. If Mike say, listen, if you miss that shot one more time, I'm going to run up in your shit again. You're not going to miss the shot. So we learned why that was effective because people tried to kill Mike. Oh, he's a bad teammate. You can't be a bad teammate. You Listen, man, all jokes aside, Michael Jordan, I don't think it should be a debate anymore. It's a lot of great players to play the game. But Michael Jordan is, without a doubt, the greatest basketball player to ever play the game. I think that's just... I didn't need this documentary to and think that... And you've thought that since episode one. No, I thought that since not new years ago. Since, yeah. I mean, since I, 1993. You, yeah, you saw it. And it but, now, but now seeing all of these stories like... Dennis Rodman was so comfortable leaving to go wrestle Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> I needed fucking Rodman dodge. In the middle of Word. the finals. You would never find a player on any team that would leave now... But the fact that he knew he had Michael, it's like you said, we, Tony Kugel said, we knew we were going to win. We got Michael Jordan in our locker room. We're not losing. You don't even have, like, there's no players that even speak about their teammates as confidently as they spoke about Mike. You're not going to find it. And that's not me because people say, oh, I never played in the NBA. Cool. Listen to what the other players are saying. Bobby Knight. No, but you one. held Julius Randle's hand. Don't do that. Don't down. No, yourself. listen, man. Bobby Knight, episode one. He said, that is the greatest basketball player I've ever seen in my life. He said that before Mike played in the NBA. I hate when y'all get more riled up. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, it's just it's not me. He's and, Mike. He's are y'all and, watching the doc? These are like basketball gods that are talking like this. Like Bobby Knight says that about no a doubt. kid who never played in the NBA. Mike is the best player ever to me. That's like me going outside, I, seeing some niggas already, in a cypher. And saying, yo, that's the best rapper ever. And it turns out to be Jay-Z 30 years later. I mean, you did do that, though. Like, yeah, but, you know, we don't want to brag here. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, it's, it's, it's being honest. Like, yo, well, I, I want to thank you for reasonable doubt. Well, no, I have to thank you. I'm just being honest, man. I don't know how you look at this documentary and walk away from it feeling like it's even close. Wait on LeBron, else. Doc, man. Fuck out that's that's going to be a great doc as well. Fuck that out would be good. Absolutely. Bronze doc's going to be great because he, know, he did so out out much other shit besides <laughs> basketball. That's the one thing that this doc was missing is Jordan was the greatest of basketball, no doubt, but we didn't really learn anything about The like, greatest thing about LeBron else. to me is that... Because Mike he, ain't do nothing else. He, he played ball. So, yeah. Played ball. Maybe so. <laughs> and gambled a lot. LeBron was crowned king and before he stepped lot. in the NBA. And golfed. And he, and he didn't... He lived up to that. Like he, You say he didn't live up to it? No, I said he lived up to it, meaning he dominated... He's been it's the king era. of this era, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I think that's the biggest part. It's like a kid coming out of high school, they put all this pressure on you. You're the king. You're the next coming. And you are and you actually go out and live up to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to me, that's the most like appealing part of LeBron's story. It's like he had pressure coming in from day one. Yeah. And he well, never, he, he lived up to it. You LeBron I mean? probably made, probably had more pressure. Than who? Michael. Oh, of course he did. He came straight out of high school and he was named the king. Like, You think he ever stuffed anybody in the Cavs? Who? LeBron. Has he? Yeah, you think he saw somebody? No, not hit nobody, no. LeBron seems like a nice he's definitely, guy. He's definitely cursed a few people out. Don't get it twisted. But oh, we've seen that on TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But 
but Mike is we got we got to bury well, that debate. In Maul's defense, Jordan had enough confidence to get drunk as fuck before a finals game <laughs> and blame it on saying, pizza. See, I, don't, I actually don't believe that that was a hangover. It wasn't a hang. It was a hangover. No, I don't think it was. It hangover. was a hangover, bro. You think so? Yeah, absolutely. I've had hangovers. Once you get moving, you, the hangover kind of goes away. He was. You ain't no, that'd be Mike certain hangover. hangovers though. You never party like Michael Jordan. Uh, I've done some pretty good parties. <laughs> you never party like Mike. If there's one thing I can compete with with Michael, <laughs> yeah. it's that. Yeah. You've never party like Mike, bro. I don't know. In Utah, have him flown in. No, nah, y'all ain't never did that. <laughs> no, I haven't. You are correct. <laughs> y'all never did just that. Just the audacity of him coming on TV to tell us that this was Pizzagate <laughs> is just like, I tried to tell you guys about Pizzagate. You want to listen. Y'all not ready for that truth. What do you even poison a pizza I enjoyed, with to make you like? I read a Craig Hodges interview that he did with, I don't remember. I would credit them if I did. We, he was talking about his perception of Mike and just the team and being waived after winning the three-point contest three years in a row and leading the league in three-point field goal percentage uh, and being waived and never playing in the league again due to some of his uh, ideologies, some of his beliefs uh, that they spoke about, mm -hmm. him approaching uh, Magic and Michael uh, before game one of the finals saying, hey, you guys should sit out. <laughs> 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 and it was like, yeah, all right, nigga. <laughs> We're not, oh, you're, you're, you're a little extreme. <laughs> yeah. uh, again, remember, Craig Hodges wore the dashiki to the White House. Mm -hmm. um, and he just said that he was really conflicted knowing that the two of the most powerful people in African-American history, Michael Jordan and Oprah, Oprah Winfrey, were so silent on some of the issues that were pertinent to what was going on right there in the city. Uh, he spoke about 900 murders annually. You know, he was just real passionate. He talked about how he believed he was blackballed and what his thoughts were on the Last Dance documentary. Where was uh, this? That was a really good read. Um, I was it was an article? Down a rabbit hole. It was an article. Okay. It was an interview. I want to say it was with Alex, uh, but I don't remember. So okay. I'll try to find that sounds it interesting, if you want to read it. Yeah, I do. Um, but it was a really good article, really good read, really good interview. Shout out to Craig Hodges. Um Along with the reports that Scotty wasn't really happy with his depiction throughout this entire thing, uh, do you guys think that's valid? What was his depiction? I thought a mutt. I thought I thought he was shy. I what thought was the most he, that was he, his uh, depiction. Yeah. Not at all. It was a little, little that. weak. It was, it was a little weak. Actually, it was actually, they gave Scotty more praise than I thought they would. Oh, so you thought he was muddy? No, I I uh, always knew Scotty was one of the best small forwards to ever. Him, him, him not going in the game on the cool coke shot should not be ignored. And him having back spasms in game what game six of that Utah game should not be ignored. It wasn't ignored. And I could, about and it. That I, made him look good. Mike he said was he was. Warrior. Mike said he was scared shitless when that happened. He said I was scared when Scotty back went out. I could see how there would be other interpretations of his depiction, and I and I could see how he would have a problem uh, yeah. with the way he was depicted. I could, totally I could see, see it. That. No, he they, was they did episode somebody. two where yeah. they dedicated maybe twenty minutes to Scotty and who he was as a player and a human and all that, and then after that just made him seem like yeah. a shitty teammate spoke, spoke for about, six more episodes. Yeah, they spoke <laughs> about the bad contract they was in. They spoke about him holding out from the team, wanting to do the surgery in the summer because fuck the team. Like there were a lot of points in this but series that was where real shit, though. it was all real shit. I'm just telling you why I can understand why how Scotty Pippen could feel away. Man, at his depiction in this Michael Jordan edited doc. I mean, of course he's allowed to feel away. If he feels away, he feels away. But I thought yeah, he was depicted it. fairly well. I thought Aside was, from I, the, I thought um, he was showing a lot of love, and and a lot of people that didn't respect Scotty, I think they walked away from this like, oh no, Scotty was the real deal. Yeah. Aside from the holding out in um in the Kuko shot game, I, I thought he was. Fairly I mean, even Michael saying he was scared without Scotty doesn't change the depiction of what they were trying to paint with Scotty sitting out during that. Yeah. So, I'm, so. I'm with Rory on this one. But really good doc. Really good doc. What I will yeah, say, I'm great. anxious for the, the new season of 30 for 30 is coming out, uh, and they're doing Bruce Lee. Boy, am I excited about that. Word. Oh, wow. That should be good. Uh, be they're starting really off good. with part one of Lance Armstrong this Sunday. While I'm familiar with that story, I'm still excited to see it. Absolutely. Um, Has there ever been a Tiger one? No. Tiger should be I think, I think they have one Tiger, coming this Tiger season. Would be really Tiger should be Tiger. crazy. I think that Lance one will be good if they, they focus on the right shit. Yeah. I like the way Cheryl 30 Crow. for 30 does things. I think <laughs> I think we all Yes, do. that should be a whole episode. <laughs> yeah, I just look forward to it. That's all. No, I think they should get into the Live Strong, the, outside of the obvious topics, the right. Live Strong scam. 
yeah. I think is a whole thing in itself. No, nah, but it was just trying to tell you to live strong. That's that's true. You know, I, mean, I forgot my bad. You wake up and you look right at your wrist and be like, yo, I gotta live strong today. <laughs> I was gonna live weak, but yeah, I was gonna live weak. <laughs> today. But but now, <laughs> thanks, now, thanks, yellow. Seen that yellow? Yeah. <laughs> and, and then knowing that the guy that was like promoting live strong was doping, that's just great. That's just like an American. It's story. amazing. Yeah. That is so so you telling me shit. you have an edge? Why well, you want me to be naturally strong? <laughs> and, okay. and the fact that well, he didn't specify how you get your strength. Yeah, you, you're right. You're right. That's his. Also, the fact that when he got exposed for the shit, that the biking world thought we would give a fuck. <laughs> I think the biking world learned like, that nobody gave a fuck. Like y'all are riding a bike through France. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take some steroids. Like sport, yeah, like all that wine down there. Yeah. This is what y'all doing. You see that hill? Yeah, no, nah, I'm cool. Y'all are rough. I'm cool. <laughs> that, that that's gonna be a good one, I think, though. Definitely. Oh yeah, it's, it's the live strong shit is on the uh, it has trailer. To be. Yeah, I think I still got one. Of my that own. might be close to the McMillian scam. Yeah, <laughs> that shit is up there. I'm curious. To the see mob Bruce might have been behind that. Bruce shit. Lee sounds fire. Oh, That'll be great. Gonna be I would like to learn that's more about his. That's uh, gonna be his backstory. And all that. We ain't heard too much from Disney Plus, huh? They're quietly still killing yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. They had the uh, Star Wars series that was real That's big. oxymoronic. Quietly killing shit? You could do that. <laughs> That's a fact. But they haven't had any like Marvel releases, have they? Uh, it was a lot so. of Disney Plus talk leading up to the launch of Disney Plus. Oh, yeah. to the fact that and people were saying it's over And for us to not see anything, well, yeah, well, I don't think, yeah, I don't think that's true anymore. No, nah, the Star Wars is a big deal. The Star Wars series. What's that? People, uh, Mandalorian. I think it was called? Yeah. yeah, people were talking about that a lot. I think just the back catalog Disney has in the meantime is doing okay while they produce other things. Yeah, they'll, all be, right. they'll be all right. Yeah, well, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, that, that part, I, you know, sure I don't know it. if Disney will be okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I think they can ride you know, this one out. You know, they'll be just fine. Do you think Disney will have some of the? Uh, they'll have some of the NBA games since, like, they're talking about it might be. They might use the Disney Resort as um as a headquarters for the Eastern Conference teams. Oh yeah, that could be interesting. That could be a, that play would be for a them. great way to get some of that money back they lost from China. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, yeah. no, I know what you're saying. That would be a great play for them, and I hope the NBA is thinking about miking up every player. I would just like to see. I know they're talking about they having they're having uh light talks about soft openings of the economy. I would just like to see how the pushback of the different the different businesses affects the startup of when we're accustomed to. Like if NFL is gonna, or if NBA is gonna start, the finals are normally in June. Now, when would they be in August? And then when would y'all start the next season? Then there's some rumblings about maybe starting every season in December. I don't know how I feel about that, but we've done it before. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just don't know. Uh, as far as the shows and the live venues, you know, a lot of times you got to book those eight months in advance. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a waiting list for that. I'm anxious mm-hmm. to see how the reopening will be there. We're probably not gonna know until honestly summer 2021. Mm-hmm. And yeah. even then, there'll be a wait for some things. Uh, on a much smaller scale, for me, I'm interested in what they're doing with fucking love and hip hop. Just not because I'm so interested in love and hip hop, but just in knowing the schedule of how things normally are versus what you're prepared to do now. Love and hip hop normally goes up in December and starts shooting in August. None of that's possible. So what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. This throws your entire franchise off. Uh, yeah. There's just a lot thrown off right now. And to be honest... A lot of the people I know when I look around are making a lot more from unemployment than they did at their actual job. People are not in a rush to go to work. <laughs> um, quickly to, to your love and hip hop point, and not just love and hip hop, but, yeah. but yeah. just networks in general. Do you think there'll Drop be more of a, on and No, I'm asking y'all a question. I'm ignoring you again. Um, <laughs> you think there'll be an influx in ads for TV or less because companies don't have the dollars to just throw into advertising over it? What or do you think the block will be super crowded with trying to advertise everything? More. What does influx mean? A lot. I think it'll be more. Because like certain it. things are doing very well, so there are I don't. advertising dollars. I don't. If the NBA there is... Are, is Lysol got some, some breakfast. There are advertising... <laughs> Lysol, <laughs> Listen, Lysol got definitely. a couple dollars. Be clear. I, I believe there's always advertising dollars to be spent. Yeah. Those don't leave. I think, I think that, it depends on the company, but... Yeah, but... Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you have it, you have it. <laughs> Lysol has it. Fucking whoever you want to name. Clor- <laughs> Clorox has it. I just don't Amazon think, has it. A few people have it. Spotify to, has it. Yeah. I just don't think Lysol and Clorox need to run to advertising right now. I think it's kind of self-explanatory. Yeah, but for the, for, the, for, the, for the millions of companies that are relying on advertising and that are having to switch their entire business model so they can stay afloat, 
during this time, it's important to maybe notice what they're doing or, or what's going on with them. Well, I know a lot of them got loans, so I'm curious if they'll dump a lot of that loan money into just ads and kind of take that risk. <laughs> the thing about ads, at least on television, you know, you pay the ads for a certain block. That block is contingent upon what's aired in that block. If you are unsure, that's why you see a lot of these uh, shows scrambling to just put something out there because we've gotten money for this block already and we can't lose it. Yeah. Or yeah. this is the block we sell and get the most money on. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. not the advertisers don't have money. It's what are we giving the money for right now and what are you able to offer in terms of content right now? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, That's what's happening. And it's in the contract to show us what the viewership was at that time. Yeah. Yeah, I could see a lot of people having a hard time. But then again, listen, as I was telling Rory on the way here, it's the first time we saw a little bit of traffic. I, I missed I missed a little traffic. <laughs> I, miss, I, I missed a little road rage. Like there were some things that were present in my life that I just had accepted already. Like, I don't some, know if I like road rage. No, nah, I liked waiting a little bit, seeing what the cars were doing, seeing people with somewhere to actually go. Yeah, it's important to get out the house. Oh, no, that I agree with. So I'm happy to see other people get out of the house. Now people are just at a point where they're just fed up, man. It's like, all right, we get it. If this thing is here to stay and everybody's eventually gonna catch it, then listen, man, let's just let's just meet this thing head on. I think that's what people are starting to feel like. Wait, Safe, when, when 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 I can't ask this to Rory and Park, so I'll just look you in the eye and talk to you. When will you start or have you started coercing women to fly to you yet? No, I haven't started. Oh shit, nigga, you crazy. This thing of all is a fucking You shouldn't nut. use that. You shouldn't do that. Course, women yeah, to do I'm anything. Not you could ask them. Convince like, or suggest. 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 Offer maybe. Offer yeah, reasons yeah. why or, they should maybe. Respectfully. That's offer. what I mean. Not right. coerce. Not yeah, con. I'm not there no. yet. <laughs> not anything toxic. I'm you haven't suggested those things yet. I'm a few months from there. At least two months from there. Oh, you missed a strong. I mean, I'm trying to be. All right, just checking. Just checking. All right, anything else that we need to deliver our opinions on? Or can we take them all home and not share them? That's fine. Yeah. I think we should. We have Saturday. That's true. Saturday, we will be home. We'll still be recording from Zoom. While I hate it, I'm not mad at it on Fridays. While State of the Culture is up, I'm not coming over here. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Taking advantage of some shit. Uh, but I really did enjoy this Tuesday getting out the house, showering, throwing on some cologne, human interaction, it's seeing y'all seeing hanging out, getting back into the old swing of things. Yeah. I did enjoy this. Yeah, it was cool. The Zoom shit, I just feel like you lose a lot in podcasting. Yes, your audio is great. Yes, you can talk timing. to people, see people. It people's feels like faces. an away game. Yeah. It feels, Every yeah, away game. yeah, it feels like some of the soul is just stripped. There's yeah. uh yeah, intangible chemistry that's easier in person. Yeah, and for me, that's what podcasts are built on. Mm-hmm. I appreciate everybody that rode out with us, rock with us, especially for that first Zoom with the bad audio. Thank you for your patience and kindness. Yeah. Um, and other than that, I think I'm done. Any new music coming out? Actually, have y'all changed your any opinions on the future project? I know we had to talk about it as soon as it came out. But now that it's been out, um, is anyone's opinion different? Has not, anyone it, gone back I, to I, it? I'll be honest, no, because I haven't gone back to it. So, I, I've gone back to it maybe once, but it's not. Again, it's it's, it's future. It's nothing. It's nothing really new for me. Like, Got it's it. Not, it's not a bad album. It's not bad. It's not a good album. It's future. It's like okay. Got it. It's and it ain't, it ain't listened in my crib music. Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. couple. I, I that may you have hear, a, though, that you know. I would play. I would listen to this record again. Yeah, I may have a different opinion had I been outside. If we were outside. No. Yeah. Got it. Totally understood. Oh, you know what, guys? I just want to thank y'all, man. You've been like, thanks, Paul. Y'all been great tonight. Man. Thank you for your thank you. you know what I mean, y'all yeah. been really, y'all been some stand-up gentlemen. I you gotta, gotta say, thank. If y'all don't hear it enough, man, I'm here. I want, I want y'all to hear it from me. Stand-up guys, me too, man. Even when we're sitting down. Yeah. Especially when we're sitting down. Right. It's very important to be stand-up when you sit down. Right. You just try to. How you feeling? A little channel orange. Feeling orange today? Yeah. <laughs> Get us out of here the right way. Oh, oh, y'all's recording. Yeah. Yeah, Joe, we do this thing called the podcast. Yeah. Oh, I want to pay attention for Maul thanking me. Oh, <laughs> thank me thank for something. You, thank you for being a stand up guy while you sit down. Thank you, man. Mm-hmm. I try to always stay ten toes down you if you know saying? the vibes. Yeah, I try to always remain tall, mm-hmm. stand mm-hmm. tall, staying tall even when I'm sitting. Is there ever a time where maybe just nine toes? It depends. 
What do you want from me, Rory? <laughs> no, it's, just, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough what, to not stand. He doesn't want nine. Don't short well, him. What is Rory? Don't short him on the toes. Right it's just tough to not have all your toes down at the same time if you look at balance of walking. That's yeah, what if you're your tippy toes. I was trying to flirt with JoJo last week, and Rory was hating. No, it wasn't. He was <laughs> being a creep. Dude, That's all. That's how flirting goes at 40, Rory. Creepy, yeah. yeah it's, God it's, forbid I'm trying to help it's, you. It's a creepy world. You'll be there soon. Yeah. <laughs> That 10 years on Rory going to fly, and Rory going to be the 40-year-old white creepy dude. Ugh. Yeah. yeah Red Baron. Cops on Rory. Look at you trying to, get, like look at at you trying to deflect from your creepiness on a call that sounded creepy that I, as your friend, was trying to help you uh, work through. <laughs> no, nah, you like, made Look how I get to through the creep? You, yes. You accentuated the creepy shit. If you would have no, shut up, it would have been cool. You made it creepy awkward? She, she would have DM'd me. I could tell she felt uncomfortable. Oh, so you know how the white people feel felt about me. Mm. You know All how the white time. girl yeah. felt about me, huh? All this time. That's true. Right here, right up under the nose. She's right there. It'd be your own people. There you go. Um, I'm done. I don't have anything else that I need to deliver responsibly on my platform this week. I have no more opinions to share. It's okay. You know, just, you don't want to force it. We've got another game Friday. We will be home. That's a home game. Yeah, it's a home game. <laughs> well, away game. Yeah, it's kind of an away game. Is, yeah, it's an away game home. from home. Yeah. This is home. Yeah. This couch is home, man. Yeah, it's home court. Oh, man, good to see you guys, though. Likewise. This was great. Again, good to get out the house. Good to get some fresh air, some sunlight, all that good shit. Good to talk some shit with you guys, not over Zoom, without a delay. All of this felt really, really good. I appreciate you guys, and thank you. Word. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Again, I want to shout out the essential workers, of course. Absolutely. Uh, I want to shout out to all the people that were driving in traffic. Shout out to all the people that are earning more during unemployment than they would at their job. Mm-hmm. And shout out to everybody that gluing this country together during this pandemic, man. We appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Take your vitamins. Take your vitamins. Take your black oil seed. <laughs> black seed oil. No, Black oil true. feed. Take both. both. Yeah, take both of them. Yeah, take both. Take both. Until the next time, we are getting out of here. Life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Until next time, we bid you adieu, farewell, Arriva Dirty, adios, hasta la vista, all of that good shit. And we out of here, man. I'm going. Y'all hold it down. We'll be back on Saturday. Saturday, it's Saturday. Saturday. Hold up, Frank.